They're live. Discord stuff. Man, I did not realize how badly that ptarmigan just made me like forget what I was saying. <laughs> I think I literally in the comment section was like, words are hard. <laughs> Dude, it's just like melted. I just could not figure out what I was going to say. I loved it. Ah, uh, clever bison. You were indeed not first. Pigeon, <laughs> yes, pigeon yes, edged you out. <laughs> for me, it says that I was first, but me and uh, Pigeon Nate basically like messaged at the exact same time. So, Tony, you are in here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Technically, we were first. So, what's up, Pigeon Nate? What's, what's up, high. Bison? Husky Taco Carter. What's up, Death Reaper? Eli, what's going on? <laughs> it's too funny. It's dignity. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Pop that open. Pop this open over here. Here we go. I'm doing good, Eli. How are you? <laughs> okay. What a time of day. Are we all on the same map? Uh, I just joined you. I think I gotta Ooh, join you guys. 1754. That is Xander time. Oh no, and, I think uh, we are on the same map. That is, I'm going, Nate, were you watching last night? Did you see the honey hole we were at? Nah, where the honey oh. hole at? Folks. We found I, I a mean, Xander I was honey watching, hole. I wasn't watching. We found a Xander honey hole. Is it just it, on uh, the coast on the other side? Yeah, like up north. Dude, I was getting a Xander every cast. Were they good Xander though? Um, well, I was using a pretty small jig, so I was getting all of them. I was getting all like from bronze all the way up, but I just upped it to um, a size two. So it's going to be silver. Big silver isn't up. <sighs> oh, thanks, two. Bison. I appreciate that. Hey, j I, I think I need a bigger plastic if I go to a size two. Uh, yeah, I think it's the large grub. It's a grub grubby. Yeah. Apparently, I didn't re I, I guess I just didn't realize this, but leeches are like the top thing that uh, Xander hit on. Really? Appreciate That's that, John. Boring. Yeah, I didn't realize that, but um, yeah, I'm not throwing leeches tonight. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> That's just gross. I also don't want to spend money on it. But I'm trying to save up for the best spinning reel, too. You're just you're just killing the game. Uh, I don't know about that. I accidentally I already had the best spinning rod in the game, and I was trying to like get rid of stuff, and I accidentally sold it, not realizing what I was selling. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't know about killing the game, but uh, oh. definitely hurting from the game. Does that count? That's tough. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Angle on, All right? You're right, Kalen. Let's get the angle on. Like Pythagorean. Pythagoras. Oh my, Pythagorean. Sounds good, Mass. Have fun, man. Enjoy COD. Um. All right. So I'll show you guys in the map where we are. So if you guys want to know where to get all the Xander all I can show you I uh, see I'm wondering I'm wondering if this is like near a Xander like spawner because it's just a so much Xander up here it is a lot of Xander I mean I saw I don't know if it was somebody posted it in my discord or the official discord, but they found what looked to be like a salmon spawner because they were just watching salmon just enter the map right at that spot in a shallow spot. Wasn't that Doan? Was it Doan? Might have been. 
Yeah, I, it was, I, 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 the I think it was at the dock spot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Dress, what's up, man? Which, like, I've seen same and like appear at that same spot, basically yeah. underneath the dock. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. sense. They gotta come in somehow. Yeah. All right, so on the map, we are all the way up here. I don't know. I mean, if there's a road up here, I bet we can get up there too. Oh wait, did you guys try to take your boat up that way yet? I haven't, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow, like in game oh, tomorrow. But once where you're at in... right now is the hot spot. Yeah, where I'm at is the hot spot. Yeah. Um, you can't. I tried taking a boat that way. You cannot get past the point. Oh, but you can drive up there. Yeah. So you see that bay up there? Yeah. The bay up there. Doan and I one day were like just fishing on shore, and it was literally every cast for. Like from short every cast, Xander. Weird. Okay. So well, it's like, do you uh, want to grab your car and just pick us up, and we can meet you on the road, or? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we can do both. Yeah. Let me get a car. Let me get one of my little little rat boys. So we are. Uh, hey, Kinska, what's up? What's up, Simon? We're um. We've got a size two jig and a large grub. On. We'll see if we can get some uh get some Xander to uh bite on this. We got Tony and Nate tonight. I think uh it sounded like Chip and Jebba started on the artificial service. Yeah, they're they're just playing around on that right now because on the official? I, well yeah, That's because tough. uh Crow Crows is down right now because he had to update uh Ooh. one of the, one or two of the mods, so the server's down right now. Yeah, that happens. I think he's also going to do a dino wipe as well, so... Oh, to see if we can get the wyvern eggs to hatch? Either that, dino. or we also just... There's such... A, like, we've been playing on it and killing and taming and breeding so many dinos, like... The game's been getting, like, super, like, rubber bandy and, like, <laughs> laggy. That sounds right. That so, sounds right. Yeah. Mine not yeah, ch it. Chip's hooked. Chip's hooked with Ark right now. Oh, yeah. Yep, it'll it'll do that to you. Uh, you didn't miss anything, Don. We're back in the same spot we were in um, last night, trying to get some Xander, doing first to a diamond competition. Um, Nate is two and zero oh in it, undefeated, back to back champion. Get good. All right, one second. I'll go <laughs> change that. <laughs> you gonna go get a char? It doesn't, hey, it doesn't count. We can't do that. <laughs> nah, I got the perch on lockdown, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, I caught a huge, on a on a jig and gr a grub, like a, a small grub, I got a huge gold perch. Dude, jig and grub? Really? On a perch? Yeah, I was surprised. Oh, Tony's not kidding. He's He literally is just going to go catch a diamond perch. <laughs> I'm zooming there so fast right now. <laughs> it's are they biting right now? I don't think the perch are biting right now. I don't know. They always bite for me. There's uh, like a slow period during some time of the day, but I want to say like right as sun's coming up and sun's coming down, they're really active. Really? Yeah. Um. Did you want to jump in my my little rat boy? Yeah. Or... Give me a second. Yeah, because I actually. I literally did the first time I've ever cast over here in my honey hole and not gotten a Xander. So let me uh Come reel this rat. in. I'll hop in. I call this car Master Splinter. Master Splinter. <laughs> Blue Rat. Did you buy a, like a Jeep skin? Or is it I one don't of the think, given I think it's ones? one of the uh, given ones. Okay think i was like i i don't have the money to spend on like the vehicle skins right now no absolutely not i'm struggling enough tony definitely jinxing jinxing himself with this uh diamond perch though i don't oh, know i know i, 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 I know i am <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be over here fishing the whole time, not catch a single perch. <laughs> oh, it's going to be only salmon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shoot, I'm back to not getting anything over here. 
Well, come hop in the rat and we'll change your luck. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Um, so Kinsko, apparently I've been seeing a lot of people get, um, get Xander on, um, the, uh, minnow, not the minnow, the leeches, like a, uh, like a float setup with the leeches. But, uh, that's a little bit boring, the float setups, um, for stream. So I go with like their second most popular one, which is a jig setup with a grub. Oh no, the Jeep is completely, in you're there, but the Jeep is invisible. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> that is a new one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, All right, we're back. that is so weird. Okay, yeah, that's what I've got on the size two jig right now. And now I'm the in. car won't go anywhere. One second. Wait a minute. The One car second. was stuck? <laughs> oh, oh, it's stalled no. out, I guess. <laughs> um, I, as far as the top loads go, Kensko, um, bobbers, I, I mean, it's whatever you can see best. Whatever for you, whatever you can see best, Oh, 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 no. Nate, what right. are we oh. that, it's, it's okay. There's a ravine there. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll make <laughs> oh it. We gotta look into the road. Oh, and my God. What are you talking about? We're, we're good. We're hey, good. Katie. Yeah, so, um, the top, so as far as the bobbers, the top floats go, it's really whatever works best for you. Uh, whatever you can see the best. Where are we going? Oh, Places. like what? I guess I see a bunch of green up here in the water. I'm taking you where Doan and I were catching. Okay, okay. Some, some Zandas. Right, Carter? I feel like Nate's a little bit better than Crow. As far as driving goes. With Crow, like, I'm constantly worried about my safety. But Nate, it's like 60% of the time. <laughs> 65. Oh, I, this this was done as a joke, but just just we're, we're can I get out of it? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go, we're back, and we're back, guys. <laughs> Sixty percent no D's get degrees, Carter. I don't think they do. No, not D's... anymore. I think they used to. Yeah, it's C's C's definitely get degrees. Yeah, not D's, not D's. I think D's used to get degrees. I'm pretty sure. If that was the case, man. man I worked we too hard. Oh, yeah, I know. I was right. We, we do have to just kind of do a little. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is happening? If you get motion sick, do not turn, avert your yep. eyes. Yeah, she's stuck. <laughs> yeah. At least the view's good. I mean, yeah, nice sunset. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Those yeah. crevasses are a little, a little deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is this where you guys were? Or do we have to go up further? Um, where are we? I didn't even look. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out to this point. Yeah, I, I saw know. I saw what Jaxi said. Drastic, uh, new map, definitely not North America. And uh, he confirmed what everybody pretty much already knew that they were working on another great one, which you know everybody kind of knows that already. Just kind of assume they're always working on a new great one. Also, saying it's not going to be a North America map is kind of like okay. So, like the other six North American maps, like I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of North American oh. maps. Oh. I'll be right back. Yeah. So. Here's the starting outpost. This is where I got my diamond Xander right off the starting dock. So there are some Xander here. Um, this area here where my boat is, that's consistent for Xander. And then Nate said him and Doan were getting Xander up here. So, and I just caught one. You just got one. Yeah. 
Just about as far as I can go on this point. Uh, there's a monster Xander literally right in front of me. It, it looks big. Of course, it's in the water. Um, that does look big. That Xander looks at least like a gold. Oh, I think he went for it because he just disappeared. Maybe. There you go. Oh, got oh. something. I'm hooked oh, up. Oh, nice, too. Rassic. Oh, yeah, this guy's at least a silver. I mean, I've got he has to be a silver because um, oh, he's pulling line out. Xander don't normally pull a line out. I swear if you catch, but you're oh, not you're, so. on, you're on a spinning rod, though. What's up, Salentino? Ooh, this guy could be this guy could be a gold, man. This guy could be a gold. That is just a big silver too. Oh, dude, there's Xander all around me right here. Well, this is the spot, Kinsko. There's literally Xander all around me right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's fighting hard, dude. This guy's kind of big. That'd be so dope if it was a diamond. It was oh. silver? How was he fighting so hard? Jeez I mean, it was on a spinning rod. It wasn't on, like, a, your bait cast setup. It's true, but like even then, like the slippers weren't fine. I guess it was a pretty big silver. 12.85. I think they make gold at uh, 13. Ah. Yeah. So it was just a really big silver. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Did you bring pizza? I did indeed. Oh. Not really, nice. but. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is Xander? He. It's Sean. Literally every cast. Going. I'm just waiting for Doan to show up behind me and scare me with his little troll oh, face. Yeah, he'll you'll hear his little boots. I heard a lot. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Doan entered the reserve right as oh, he said that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that last night. I was like, I was like fish on the water because I'm jigging. Like you can't or you can't like really. Uh, look around. Yep. And uh, I just heard like this little click, 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 click. But I'm like on a boat, right? So I'm like, what is that <laughs> noise? What is that? And then I'm like, oh, like somebody's walking around. I was like, oh, I bet it's Doan. And then as soon as I like, I reel in, I look up, and there he is in his little troll mask. <laughs> there we go. There's a bite. It's coming in a little pretty good. Doan, 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 Doan. Doan is like the elf on the shelf. Doan always rowing. Yeah, he's uh, he's something. He uh, he's playing with everybody. Doan uh, is in the first to a diamond competition. Um, but he's playing with a handicap because he's too good. So uh, he has to get two diamonds for him to win before we can get one. Hey, what's up, E. Jones? Angly dangly day. This guy's putting up a decent fight, too. He was pretty far out to begin with. It's a religious holiday. <laughs> it, is, it is a nice, relaxing stream, that's for sure. It's no Crab Champions. Crab Champions is, uh... That gets a little bit uh, high anxiety for me. Those are the types of streams you take a dose of, like, a, a, an overdose of ketamine and just let her eat. <laughs> Be, eh, probably a silver. Yep, silver. Another big silver, though. That's another, yeah. Not bad. Another big silver. Oh, another Crap, one. This Dude, way. it's every cast. Or what are you? Are you using the grub? The same thing you're using. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a good combo. Yeah, I see a Xander literally just surface up there. Yep, there it is. There's the strike. I think this was a little bit smaller. He's not putting up nearly as much fight. Overdose of it. I mean, you gotta do something, kid. I mean, don't tell me it's a good time. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, how are the perch going over there? Uh, they're slow. I've seen a couple come to the surface. One was small, and then I caught a silver. 
So yeah, yeah this might not be the best time for him, I think. <laughs> Fish on again. This is nutty. I told you, dude, the grub. Grub and then jig. It's a winner. And they hit, they're more though. active at night, so they'll hit all night. Watching me in virtual reality? Really? What? In VR? Is, who, is this Doan? Who's in this Jeep? Silver Xander? Who is that? Has to be Doan. <laughs> oh, it's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Doan! <laughs> it's Doan! <laughs> How would I, how would we have ever guessed? <laughs> yep, there's his little boots. Can you hear him? <laughs> his little grubby little boots. <laughs> there it is. There's another strike. Same. <laughs> dude, it's, it's, it's one after another. Oh, Where's it's a good setup. Ends, dude? Good setup. Hey, Burger, what's up? Good morning. I assume it's morning over there. I feel like you're up earlier this morning. This thing is coming in pretty quick, so this is going to be a small silver. Yeah, yeah. I'm just catching a bunch of like cookie cutter 12 pounders. But as soon as you get those 12 pounders out of the way, then you'll be able to start getting the bigger ones. I hope. I mean, if they're there. Right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another silver 10 pounder. Better than the eight pound silvers. Cutter sharks? No, not cutter sharks. Shark, sharky. Not the shark. Another one. Another fish. Zan Xandermonium. Xander Xandermonium. <laughs> I wonder why we can't take our boat up here. Um, I think it's just like they're off limits weird i tried like it it's i don't know super weird i wonder if it has something to do with um did it... that was a weird change in like thing it looked like the sun went down but it got lighter out ew thing I'm not going to get a bite on this cat. I will be shocked. Yeah, I haven't gone a cat like a cast without catching one. Is that a song, Caitlin? I feel like that's a song. Tony, I saw that roach. Yes, sir. Not a perch, though. It's not a perch. <laughs> I'm spot fishing, man. That's what I thought. Okay, okay, Doan. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's what I was saying last night. Like, like you know, you know, you got a diamond on, or like you got a diamond in front of you. Whenever the fish is so big, you can't tell what it is. Like that mountain white fish I got, just had no clue what that thing was. And then until I caught it, um, yeah. no one said that his uh, pike that he won King of the Catch with looked like a tree trunk in the water. It was so big. That's what I'm looking for. But every time I see a fish and I think it's a big fish, it ends up being like a silk every time. And then when I don't, when I'm like finally convincing myself, this is not a big fish it ends up being a diamond. It makes you question yourself every time you see a fish. Like, is this yeah. really a big one? <laughs> yeah, well, what's going on with these bites? Why did we uh, lose the bites all of a sudden? I haven't. Oh, here we go. There's one. He's coming for it. And we got him. Not a diamond. Not a bad one either. Definitely not a bronze. 
And he's in. Um, by the way, it does not make gold at 13 pounds. It doesn't make gold at 13? I just got a 13.2 and it's a silver. It's like 13 something. I saw I, my gold. One of my golds last night was 13 something. So the that one or the pike, Dylan? Hey, Connor, what's up, dude? I wish I could gamma up like an arc. I know. The gamma is so nice. I love that feature in arc. Oh, the pike. Gotcha. Oh, and you're not allowed to win the king of the catch this time. Like, <laughs> save, save it for save it for some of the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, that one's gonna that one. So the biggest Xander, um, biggest Xander. What was it like? Twenty six. What I say? Twenty six point one five pounds. Yeah. That was the biggest one. Um. So that is a huge Xander because other people were making diamond at like 18, 19 pounds, something like that. So that is almost a 10 pound difference. It sounds like Tony was close with some of his though. Tony was close with his. So it's like definitely, I feel like it's doable. Um, how many? Okay, so I've got the mount. So diamond, I got the Xander, the mountain whitefish, asp, the Arctic char, and the pike. I think I have five. We have five diamonds. I'll have to check. Oh, the silver. See, small silver. I just want to cast without catching one. What the heck? Hmm. Oh, and I have the chub. So oh, we know you have a chub. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. So I've got the asp diamond, the pike diamond, char diamond, chub diamond. Xander diamond and then the mountain whitefish on the other. I have five total diamonds, I think. And I don't think I've got two diamonds of the same species. Are you just talking about Norway? No, the whitefish was on the base map. Hey, Josh, oh, what's up? Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That Xander that I caught would have been in competition for king of the catch it was 26.10 was, yeah. oh. was the diamond Xander I would... oh man that's rough wait what uh, is it right now 26.15 I think Ooh. wow so my personal best Xander would have not even won but it would have been close that's nutty Oh, dude, B Jones. Uh, once the Xander stopped hitting, like in the there's, morning, there's a gold. We can go for uh, diamond. Uh, we're gonna go for diamond asp. Uh, they hit on the same thing pretty much as the Xander. So, uh, if you um, you know that one spot by the lake. Remember where you told me to go off the uh, waterfall, Nate. And yeah. you went off the waterfall and then you cut that diamond pike. Yeah. At the top of the waterfall there, there's a lot of asp there too. That's where I got my diamond asp. Are you talking about like the the first fall down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh I could go you gotta go either way. A little bit of asp, a little bit of chub. I like both. <laughs> both are good fish. Uh, B. Jones, how was your first day at your new uh, job as a big old, oh, 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 look at this fish, as a big old fancy doctor man. Uh, five, Connor. Wow, that looks so much bigger than the water. Flipping. Come on. Right around this big old rock. Yeah, I think caught an asp on a crank, Jurassic. It was boring, but you got good benefit, got good benefits, and got our oh nice, that's nice. You uh, play any crab champions today, B Jones?
That game just feels like you're edging out an aneurysm like every minute. Dude, it's <laughs> incredible. It is a dopamine high. It's like if like TikTok was like cracked out in a game. That's what Crab Champion. Crab Champion. Crow wanted it was like midnight and Crow wanted to go for another round of Crab Champions. I'm like, dude, no. Ooh. I, feel like, I don't know, B Jones. I feel like it's like if you have ADHD, you better be on your meds or like you ain't <laughs> you are gonna be dumpstered on. Mine snapped. This freaking freaking rock. Did you really? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess it's sap on this rock here. Huh. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I'm gonna go to a better rock. Never mind. I'm gonna go like stand so far out. Oh, I scared that little Xander away. Dang it. Well, that sucks. Cast back out this way. What I can get. Yeah, B Jones. It's uh it's good for me. It's always got there's always some flashing light in my eye. You never watch me on full volume, Caitlin? Do I scream? Am I loud? Am I a loud person? I don't even never got that before no one's ever said that oh uh, here we go that xander's coming back uh, okay okay nice save caitlin nice save you putting up a fight yeah he's not putting up I definitely don't watch Crow on full volume whenever he's grinding for a great. That's going all the way. Like he's on like 50% when he's grinding for a great one. Yeah, we're getting into the danger zone too of it. Yeah. <laughs> like if you're watching a Scarecrow great one grind on full volume right now, just prepare to not have eardrums when you find Ain't gonna have to go see B Jones because now you have no hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could do physical therapy for being deaf. <laughs> but, yeah, you could certainly try. You you could be try. Be like, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. All right, wiggle your ears. <laughs> wiggle your ears. Oh, still can't hear me. Weird. Move your head back and forth. Shake it. Shake those eardrums loose. Someone asked, like, why, what is he in for? Well, Dumbo over here had Scarecrow at full volume when he got a great one. <laughs> Idiot. I can hear you still. Then why are you here? <laughs> See? Cured him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dang, Jurassic. I'm worried. Like, can they snap the line on the rocks in the water? I think so. Like, I know they can snap the line on the rocks, like, that are, like, sticking out. You know what I mean? This is such a good spot. I think there's right. a lot of salmon up here, too. Silver. Still? I haven't got... You got a gold up here? Yeah. I did just not too long ago. I still haven't got the gold up here. And all silvers for me. Hopefully that just means I'm fishing all the silvers out and I'm going to be getting all the big ones. Coming for it. That would be ideal. Cool. We will see. Yeah, I don't know how long stuff spooks for once you like if you snap your line or uh, like if you fall in the water. I don't know how long things spook. 
don't know if they come back pretty quick or what. Xander going for it? Doesn't look like he's going for it. Or call me. Oh, I didn't do my challenges. What a rookie. I think I still had some time on my deal. They reset at a certain time for everybody, or is it just when you accept them? Uh, oh wait, never mind. I'm not even gonna do it. It resets in ten minutes. Go to the set time. Uh, I don't know if I've done my weekly. I think, no. I think there's one for like twenty-five burbit this week. <laughs> Might as well be a diamond. Yeah, like everybody in uh, the angler official. Everyone in the Angler official is saying like console's gonna the, jo the running joke is console will release before somebody gets 25. <laughs> be like, what were they doing? Smoking crack when they decided that challenge? <laughs> yeah, like just being jerks. <laughs> just like no. Haha, we know we know Burbit or suck to catch. Yeah. yeah, and like there's not even it's like it's not even like a, an extra reward. It's like a normal amount. Like <laughs> it's like an impossible task. You're giving us like the normal XP. Who would do that? Yeah, don't. It, 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 I still, yeah, I feel like even if they did like 10 Burbit, it would still be like, yeah, we do the same yeah. reaction. Yeah, okay, well, double the XP reward. Man. Uh, ooh, somebody uh, did uh, post a diamond largemouth bass in chat. Yeah, so... but that could, that could still be the challenge, though. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I thought the challenges, I thought they changed it so they don't automatically spawn diamonds anymore. No, but like it's still really easy. It, like the chances of catching one is still like increased. I still haven't done the challenge. I did them to get them out of the way. Oh, I guess I could maybe do that. I think I got mine in like a couple fish. Like it was pretty easy. Yeah, there's like a channel catfish one and like a bluegill one. I got the channel catfish and oh yeah, yeah there's a rainbow trout one as well. I did that challenge for that one. I have yeah. not caught a bluegill yet on there. Er, not the easiest thing. It's weird because bluegill are super easy to catch. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to doing pan fishing IRL. Yeah. Nice slabs. Dude, there's like one lake that we have a camper on that I go catch up like 12 to 13 inch crappie that are like normal. That's so much fun. Nice. Yeah, crappie. You fry them up though? Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, nice. Kaylee. Um, crappie. Ready or sunfish, bluegill, bass. That's pretty much all we catch down here. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that's how that worked. What Doan said. Oh. You get more dailies if your rep is higher. <laughs> Dang it. Why are you telling us this, Doan? Why are you telling us this just now? Yeah, I modded B. Jones because I was tired of Nightbot time him out when I kept asking him questions. <laughs> Nightbot was getting him good. That's why we time out Nightbot. And he's still getting Nightbot still strikes. <laughs> as soon as he's back in, he's just waiting just to smoke B. Jones. <laughs> Literally, I, I thought I had the bright idea when uh, Caitlin got a great one bear. So that people could do all caps. I thought I was like, oh, maybe if I like time out Nightbot, like Nightbot can't do anything. No, that's not how it works. It just keeps him from sending messages. <laughs> wow, I didn't get anything on that cat. I'm starting to think that like there's definitely places that like there's a lot of small or like normal fish. And then there's some where there's bigger ones. Right, like there's not like a whole lot of fish, but like big ones. Like, I don't get a whole lot of Xander at that dock. Where did you catch your diamond Xander? At the main dock, but I don't get a whole lot of Xander there. 
Tony, where'd you catch yours? The dock. What the heck are we doing here? That's there's what no, I'm saying. There's <laughs> not a whole lot of Xander there. Well, but the diamonds are there, so... I caught some silvers and golds, and then I caught my last diamond. Like, I had caught a couple of Xander before. Freaking Doan. Doan's literally already there. I'm looking at the map. <laughs> this nice, little, Kaylee. Little, little grubby little boot guy. All right, once I reel this, if I get nothing on this next one, I'm going over to the docks. <laughs> over here on the dock. This, he's not even... This, but he's not even catching anything good. I'm watching the just chat. Got here. Nice, Kaylee. This grubby little boy. A lot of salmon over here. Man, I, I can't wait to get a, a giant salmon on my new uh, bait casting setup. This is tough. I can't believe we haven't got another Xander over here. My honey hole's better. I got three golds over there last night. That one just caught a gold. Um, all right, we're going over the docks. That one, you little nasty. Here we go. I feel like we can go to the other side too. Don't, how, don't, how are you? I'm gonna fall in. Here we go. Hey, Parker, what's up? Oh, I fell in. All right. All right. See these, uh, Xander over here. Hmm. I haven't got any and I uh have been reeling for less than like three seconds. Hmm. Tisk tisk tisk. Ate a frog one time. Hope it was um what they call frog legs again. What? This car go is snails. What do they call frog no. legs? They they call them frog legs. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a, there's a, uh, there's a, there's like a culinary term. I don't think there is. There is. There for sure is. It's like escargot. You know, there's a name for it. Was it frog cargo? <laughs> I don't think it's frog cargo. No. Doings. Doings. Um... I'm pretty sure it's called frog legs. I don't think so. There's definitely there's definitely a name. Somebody Google this. Somebody Google this. What do they call frog legs when you cook them? Literally no Xander here at all. I literally just saw Tony catch one in front of me. <laughs> they don't exist over here. Wow, literally terrible. We're on a witch hunt. Doing witch hunt. There's a, oh, there's a salmon, of course. Watch, I'm gonna cast over here for Xander. I'm gonna get it, and then it's gonna go and snap my line on that pole. Oh yeah, a troll. troll. <laughs> wild, wild goose chase. Oh, okay. You know, talk to your crush tomorrow, Simon. Okay, what? Is Simon's opening line talking to his crush? Guess what? <laughs> Chicken butt. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Works for, works for Scott. See, look, cruises de Grunuli. No, that's definitely not how you pronounce it. I I put you that on purpose. I feel like someone <laughs> just said. Imagine if they like. That's something that totally wasn't it, <laughs> but it means like something absolutely horrific. And you just Carter said something do that, that like, <laughs> yeah, something Carter that, wouldn't do that to me. offended like the masses. 
Okay, what, okay we gotta we gotta help our boy Simon out. We gotta help our boy Simon out. Um It depends. What what, what you trying to get out of this? <laughs> Slap in the face. Do not tell uh, her she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. That doesn't work as well as Yeah. I don't want to try that um, one though. Okay, I guess we got to I guess we should know. Is it um Eighth is grade. It, okay. Is it a dude or a chick? That'll that'll help me oh. figure it out. So, so now you're trying to figure out which way he's swinging. I see. I see. I just I just need to know so I know what pronouns to use. Is that a ch she is okay. my pat Okay, Simon, you're trolling us now. Simon. Simon's trolling us. <laughs> Simon, I don't think you're ready for a pastor's daughter, my boy. Dude, that ranks up with with horse girls, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, in, no. In a different way, though. Oh, in a different way, but it, it's up there. Simon, you're not... You gotta start, you gotta start somewhere smaller than that, brother. <laughs> you're you not can't, ready. You can't, you're not ready for a pastor's daughter. <laughs> Is this is this is this is this your is this your first girl, Simon? Yeah. I'm... Sorry, brother. We gotta we gotta start we gotta start somewhere we gotta start somewhere different, you know. Simon, you gotta start on the starting rod. You can't jump all the way up to the rushy the rushy yeah. the mediator. Oof. Later, Carter. Uh, I mean, <laughs> pastor's daughter, eighth grade. All right, here you go. Ask her what her favorite ice cream is. And then you're talking about ice cream. And then try to figure out like where an ice cream place that has her favorite ice cream. And then, uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to play the long con. Okay. You play the <laughs> long con and you're going to get yourself into a position to where you can decide where the Bible study group goes, right? Where, um, where you guys meet, like the youth or youth group meets. Okay. Okay. So Simon figure out. Okay. I hear you, brother. This is it. We're playing the long con. Okay. You're going to figure out where she likes ice cream. You're going to figure out like some kind of food or drink that she likes. Okay. You figure that out. You're going to figure out somewhere in town that has the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> that has what she likes. And then you are going to have to do a power struggle, work your way up in the ranks of youth group. Okay. You're going to have to manipulate a lot of people to get to this rank. And then you're going to put yourself in a position, a decision-making place. Okay. Where you can decide where youth group meets. And then you pick the place that has the best whatever ice cream or snack or drink that she likes. And then you meet there and then you unveil this entire plan and then ask her um, if she would like to go to a movie or um, be your partner at VBS or something. That's it. Hey, Braden. Could you imagine? I just had no. this thought. I just had this thought pop in my head. I was like, "What if you found the room where they keep the communion wine and wafers and be like, hey, you wanna go somewhere?'" Do right not. There? Do not listen to Nate. Do not listen to Nate. Do not raid the communion closet. Do not raid the communion closet. That's that's a no go. That is not good advice. Oh, dude, if you're friends with their brothers, that's even better. <laughs> oh, what?
Oh, you're singing four songs with her on Sunday. Brother, you're going to have to back out of that. <laughs> you're going to have to back out of that. <laughs> you can't. Uh, you are on a slippery slope to the friend zone, my boy. <laughs> you're gonna no, have see, to. See, you got. You got. You, 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 you got to play the game. It's like, hey, you, That's you want like, to like skip this joint and go get McDonald's no. or something? And no, 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 no. <laughs> because she's she's invested in that. You, you got to support her. You got to support her. But you can't. I thought you get in the friend zone. Yeah, dude. That's, that's like that's how you get. That's like how you get invited over to do homework and like you just do homework. You know, <laughs> like when it's Netflix and chill, and literally all you do is watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, look. When after thirty, that's a that's a good night. I, I mean, I, true. <laughs> look, I'm tired. <laughs> all right, Simon. This one time. Okay, this one time. This is this is what you're gonna need to do. Alright. And this is the serious part, okay? Hang out with her brothers. Be friends with her brothers. Do not go over there to hang out with her. Right? Make it very clear you are there to hang out with her brothers. And as much as you're gonna wanna spend like like give her attention, do not. Do not. For a while. For a while. Like you got to make it seem like she like you got to you got to be respectful number 1 got to be nice got to be considerate supportive um you have to be a really good friend okay that's going to be your angle right do not show interest beyond you're just there to be her friend okay just you're there to be her friend but you're really there to hang out with her brothers and then over time, this is gonna be this is the this is the long con here. Over time, she's gonna see you as her brother's friend, and that's gonna be a different kind of attraction. Okay, that is when that is when you're gonna have a what we call what we call upper hand. Okay, that's when you're gonna be able to you know just a little bit of attention goes a lot long a lot longer, right? Just you gotta play it cool. Clone. I still think the guess what chicken butt will work, but I don't think the guess what chicken butt's gonna work. And Doan, there's no Xander over here. You've literally foiled my plan. And the uh, sun's coming up. And the sun's coming up. What the heck? Little troll. <laughs> yeah, just just don't even don't even have it in your mind that if this is anything but you're there to hang out with her brothers caitlin listen i don't yeah her brothers will be fine as long as her brothers will be fine as long as you truly are friends with her brothers and you show more interest in them than their sister and then over time over time once your boys once once simon and her brothers are boys right simon i'm gonna stop you right there i'm gonna Whoa, stop you right there simon mm. oh mm. hey then send it just ask her out on a date just, yeah just send it i'm gonna stop you right there that that send it simon don't do that that ain't it my boy nope, send it mm -mm. that's not the ad that's not the attitude you're gonna want to come know, in with at the, at the end of the day when after church when they let everybody out and they're all talking and your aunt's talking to to her friends over there your mom's talking you go up to her and be like hey you just you just want to want to go out sometime simon do it and then you then you drop the no and you know instead your opening line hey you, you just kind of tap her on the shoulder guess what <laughs> chicken butt, chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey listen 
Doublet, I'm not giving advice for an adult man, Doublet. I'm giving advice for an eighth grader, okay? This is this is we're in a different ball game, Doublet. You and me, brother. You and me, brother. We're we're not working in the same world here, okay? We're working in Simon's world right now. And, and the dynamics are completely different. <laughs> the dynamics are completely different. Okay. Ain't no way I'd be doing this. Listen. At my age. <laughs> Listen, Simon, she might walk all the way across the church to shake your hand. That might be the case. Okay. What is this fish? Probably it seems, salmon. nah, it's small. Never mind. Um, that might be the case. Okay. Listen, you get side hugs from her. It's a real question. <sighs> yeah. Is, it, si a is it a side hug or a front? Like, is it just handshaking or is there? Or is oh. this side hug or um is this side hug or okay is this a front hug does she does she, does she share her sunday snacks with you yeah what's the food sharing situation that's actually a good that's a good um and parker don't listen whatever you do simon do not listen to parker. yeah park parker yeah no <laughs> this is church not not the gym it's like the church of iron brother although i respect that we're giving so Simon asked for dating advice, TTK. TTK, you're close to eighth grade, right? You're like, you're in high school, right? You might no, be I think he's like seventeen. TTK yeah, is you're older. in high school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. TTK, you've got a girlfriend, and you're like in high school, which is closer to eighth grade than me being thirty-one. <laughs> TTK might have some good advice on this. So here's the situation, TTK. Simon's got these two buddies, okay? His boys, all right? And they've got a cute sister that is Simon's age, okay? Okay, your cousin, your... Okay, I don't know how much you want to trust your cousin. All right, it's I know a lot of guys... also his cousin? <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm telling you... Simon, what you're going to want to do is just hang out with the brothers. They're your boys. All right. Over time. Over time. The brothers are going to see you and your value. Right. And they're going to want their, you know, they're going to want the best for their boy. You know what I'm saying? And then they will be you know, advocate on your behalf and you really won't have to do anything because you're like the cool dude that's friends with her older brothers you're kind of accepted into the family already i think that's the that's the real play oh, we've been looking no we've been looking at this all wrong you need to become friends with her dad go in a little bible study with the pastor ignore I her i you know nate i think you're on to something ignore her completely <laughs> Actually, just, just hang out with her go, dad. Just go actually, just go after the dad. Try to date the dad. Okay, well, it's not. Let's <laughs> let's let's take two steps off the ledge here, Nate. Let's take two steps off because this this is going in a direction that Simon is not helpful to Simon. <laughs> kind of forgot about the whole the whole pastor and, and kid dynamic. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tackle Tuesday, folks. Pastors, the ones we're not having to worry about, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a priest. Things are. This is a whole different conversation. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Uh, how about them Xander? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, well, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm recovering. I'm recovering, Will. How are you, buddy? When are you guys going? When are you in an airplane stuff going hunting next? Like, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm looking for Asp now. And that's a weird transition, but it's fine. Um. Whew. So anyway, Simon, just hang out with the brothers. Just be friends with their brothers, and then and then it'll happen naturally. And you really don't have to do anything. Just be nice, be respectful, be supportive. Don't um don't try don't push too hard. Just be friends with their brothers first and foremost. Get in with the family, and uh, just be around. And uh, trust me. It'll have, she'll make the decision for you. Don't worry. That's how uh, I got married. Nice, Will. Nice. <clears throat> don't, don't, don't make any remarks on her appearance. <laughs> don't, unless you are out on a date with her. Do not make a remark on her appearance. If you, if you guys are singing together. Don't listen. Uh, do not listen to Parker. Last do person not. in this chat is probably Parker. I love you, Parker. I love you, Parker. Listen, do not listen to another eighth grader on this, Simon. Also, don't listen to Nate, but. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 that's good. You know, like I said, be supportive, kind. Um, her, her talents and skills. Those are great things to compliment talent, skills, work ethic, great things. Her appearance, we're going to stay off that for a while. Okay. Until you guys are actually going out on a date, like a one-on-one -on -one date, we're, we're, we're going to leave the appearance alone. Appearance does not matter. Okay. Appearance does not matter right now. Be friends first, okay? I don't. I didn't go around telling B Jones he's so beautiful all the time before we were friends, okay? Dang, we I became would. friends first, and then I tell him he's beautiful all the time, okay? <laughs> I love oh. Texas these days. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing, we're going to throw this and see what we get. Parker, I hope that's a joke. <laughs> I really hope that's a joke. <laughs> it, it, it. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't tell if you're serious. Could you imagine gauging the length of your relationships by how many recesses? <laughs> I'll tell you. Listen. Listen, brother. Let me tell you how I got my first girlfriend, Simon. Okay, I was in the seventh grade. Okay, seventh grade. Me and my buddy Cody Hall, we were hanging. We went to go see the new Fast and the Furious movie, and uh, or it was Triple X. It's either Triple X or Fast and the Furious. Um, uh, and uh, we get in there, and before we buy our tickets, hey, I got a pike on, I think. Uh, before we buy our tickets. Bunch of chicks walked in from our school, okay? It was Caitlin, Tara, Abby. Is GGO's wife? Girlfriend? No, 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 no. Nah. An American Abby. Nah, and then gotcha. some other chicks. And Parley, I think was it. Anyway. So they're like, oh, like, what movie are you guys here to see? Like, they were like, oh, well. Uh, what are you here to see? I'm like, oh, we're gonna go see this new like romance movie. Like, oh, that's what we were. And Cody's like, that's what we were here to see too. And I'm like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. And then, and then he was like, nah, he, he like, he was like, dude, like, just, just play along. So we play along. 
we go and I'm like oh do you want to they're like you want to sit next to us at the movie theater we're trying to help i'm trying to help pops what he came into is i'm trying to help simon get his first girlfriend he's in the eighth grade so i'm telling him the story um pops missed so, everything <laughs> <laughs> pops you go rewind for about 15 minutes <laughs> you're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna regret it trust me <laughs> but uh so Listen, Simon, you're telling me you've got two options now and you're already down the wrong path and I'm about to show you why. Okay, <laughs> listen to my story and you're gonna learn why this is a terrible idea. So I thought I only had, so I'm, I'm sitting there, I got a big crush on this Caitlyn chick, okay? And uh, pretty big crush. And uh, so we're sitting next to these chicks, right? And uh, my friend Tara is sitting next to me and Co or I'm sitting on the end my co friend Cody's next to me and the terrorist next to him. And then uh, there's like there's like probably like 10 of us, right? And uh, whatever the fish this is, is gnarly. And uh, so my I tell my buddy Cody, we do this telephone style. So I'm like whispering to Cody, you know, like, hey, Cody, like, can you whisper to Tara and have her pass down and pass down my my message? I want to know if Caitlin will be my girlfriend. And so he does that and the, the message gets passed down the row and then it comes back to me. He says, okay, well, listen, Caitlin does not want to date you, but Abby does. And so I'm like, well, I can either come out of it. I can come out of this. I can get skunked and come out of this with nothing or I come out of this with something. So I accept it. Right. <laughs> let's go <laughs> yeah so i accepted yeah and you know the thing is simon i could have got up and walked down the end of the aisle and i could have sat right next to her my new girlfriend okay did i do that absolutely not i said right in that seat okay did i talk to her after yeah gave her a quick little side hug okay and then uh next monday came around and we were on uh we went to uh, our like little uh, like the pre homeroom place. We we're in the library, and we shared a seat in the library for a little while. Um, and then you my thigh. Sat on your lap. Nope, nope. Our oh. thighs kind of like touched a little bit. You know, <laughs> like I had my cargo shorts on uh, with the pockets on the side, and I don't remember what she was wearing. That was unimportant. Um, but I had some sick cargo shorts on. And um, so that was pretty sick. And then uh, by second period, uh, I got a note from our friend Tara said that Abby wanted to break up. So listen, hey. yeah, yeah. I flew too close hey. to the sun on that one, right? Seventh grade girlfriend lasted for like a weekend. Um, and listen, that's why you don't take runner up. All right, you stick with your number one choice. All right, Simon, we're going with girl number one. We're going with pastor's daughter. We're too far in and you don't want to date your sister's friends. Trust me, because if you can, if you can, if you can land this pastor's daughter, it's either going to be the best time of your life or the absolute <laughs> worst. It's going to be both, life. Simon, <laughs> by the time, by the time you guys, if you start, if you date oh, this pastor's daughter no, 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 well hold on, into hold on, high hold on, school, hold on, hold on, hold on. it's going to be, Look it's going to be the comment. best. They are both <laughs> What? Simon, listen, brother. B. Jones, shut the hell up. That's a stupid comment. Show genuine interest and ask her out. What are we, 40? Get out of here. We're in eighth grade, you idiot. That's not how this works. Simon, listen to me. Just be your brother's friend. And don't the the don't don't mess with your sister's friends. That's gonna end poorly. Your sister doesn't have your back. Hang out with your boys that just happen to be this girl's brothers. Okay, hang out with them. Be their be their boy. Get in with the family. And if you date this chick into high school, it's gonna be the best thing that ever happened to you and the worst thing. It's gonna change your entire life. Okay. That's a pretty nice branch. Oh, there's a Xander. Nope. Mm, definitely not drippy. 
Yeah, that's not a. Yeah, definitely not true. Nice, Will. Bench 130. Anthony. Hmm. Mm, we're going to mm, drippy. Yeah, we're going down. Uh, we're going down the wrong path there drippy Hmm actually, you know, what's so funny drawn has given the most sound advice I, uh, no, I mean, I feel like we, we, nope, we were, Nate, we were pretty there. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, I respect that. Um, to a point. Um, Jim over chicks. BB Jones felt that way for a long time. We got freaking shredded, bro. Absolutely oh, shredded. I was I mean, about to we, say, you're going to wait until high school for the girls. What are you doing? Let's focus on boys right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, dude. We, me and B. Jones were absolutely jacked. And then we met hot chicks. And, uh, well, we didn't need to go to the gym anymore. So, got, dude, we got shredded. We met some hot chicks. Married them. And then, uh, we didn't really need to go to the gym anymore. So, I was, uh, into that. Thank you, Fellblade. Avoid your your sister's friends. That's always a no-no. Always a no-no. See, that's Drawn's got some good advice. Just be a friend, first and foremost. Just be a friend. Don't think about anything else. Enjoy their company, and it's gonna be hard, brother. I was I was an eighth grade boy once. I was thinking about a lot of things. I needed to focus on just being a friend first. And that's it. Drawn's absolutely right. <laughs> I'm starting start to think that Drawn's like a rare occurrence of getting out of the friend zone, though. Uh, I don't know. B. Jones and I had a couple of situations. Um, that kind of... Kind of, Together? That's kind of a weird segue into that. Um, <laughs> after B. Jones, I got shredded. Um, so we, you know, some chicks came out of the woodwork, and uh, we had to, we had to, uh, I bosh on that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to know more. <laughs> <laughs> put a guy bosh on what? what? <laughs> Gold asp. <laughs> I'm about to give up on these Xander, dude. Yeah, I'm already um I'm on the asp now. I'm on the asp. Oh, uh, oh. I wonder if we get oh. some more asp over here. That's either a big probably a big salmon. Yeah, oh. no, uh I got friend zoned. I got friend zoned pretty hard. I had to crush on this girl for since like elementary school, like my whole life. And uh, then dated her. And that kind of sucked. B. Jones remembers that. She graduated, moved to Florida. Um, but we are actually better friends anyway than like we just were not a compatible like romantic match. So I got out of that friend zone. And that wasn't great. Then I had a couple other girls that tried to, um, like, oh, do you want to come hang out? Like, come over to my new part, see my new apartment? Like, uh, you know, we just talk and hang out, have dinner and have some, you know, drinks and stuff. And you can stay here if you want, but like, no, you don't, like, no, no pressure. Like, mm, mm, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> A day in the gym is worth more than a lifetime in the classroom. That's right, coach. That's right. That's coach Letterman for you, baby. <laughs> Dude, Simon's really like deciphering among <laughs> like bastards' daughters. He's really <laughs> Simon. Let me tell you, if you're if you're this deep into these pastors' daughters. Anything that's not your own denomination is probably going to be, is probably not going to work out for you. <laughs> right, Will? 
See? Yeah, see, Fellblade? You get shredded, get shredded, you focus on you, and then the woman that gets you that is, like, amazing enough to get you away from, like, fo being focused on yourself, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, well, Jurassic, that didn't happen until I was, like, 21. What? When did we get shredded, B. Jones? 21, 22? In college? Yeah, before then... I mean, I was always good at like, I was always, I was always friend zoned, always friend zoned in high school, hardcore. And then me and B Jones, we got shredded and uh, jacked and we only cared about uh, getting big. Um, and then uh, we just did our own thing, ignored chicks for a long time. And then, uh, yeah, dude, it was like, it was like early twenties. Um, and, uh, then we, uh, finally met, um, two hot chicks that, um, got us, uh, that were so great that they got us to think about something other than ourselves. And we married those chicks because they're dope. Nate, you'll get married one day. <laughs> Doubt it. I know a guy up in Wisconsin that married his car, so... I think you'll be okay. <laughs> what? I'm just saying you got more options up in Wisconsin than the other 49 states because you're the only state that you can marry a car in. Yeah, that ain't happening. I'm just saying you got options. <laughs> That's not the option. <laughs> you might be able to marry a fishing rod then. Who knows? Ah, ah, or you, marry your, you marry your bass boat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Later, mass. <laughs> Tony, you got a girlfriend, right? Yeah. What's your What's your advice? What's your What's your uh, dating advice for uh, uh, middle school, high schoolers? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a totally um, It's a totally different dynamic, isn't it? I'm, yeah, and it's I'm, a different world. Like people, like mm -hmm. kids, act different now. So. Yeah, dude. I'm My advice. Some Fortnite V Bucks. <laughs> Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. How many V bucks you got, Simon? Because that that could really be a factor in this. Just hit the gritty and it'll be all okay. <laughs> How, how's your gritty? How's, how's your, your gritty? orange justice? Is the real question. That can you uh, that seals the deal. Do you have access to talkies? <laughs> <laughs> what else do kids like these days? <laughs> You know what? Oh, Here's my advice. Play it cool, and then once when it's like a day like her birthday or Valentine's Day, get her like a stuffed animal. Ooh. That's solid. That's solid. You're not going to go wrong with that. Stuffed animal's kind of a solid play. Yeah, that's, you, you know, a stuffed animal, eighth grade, yeah, that'll play, dude. Nah, Simon, dude, that'll play. Trust me. Trust me, dude, that'll play. Because it's like, it's it's better than flowers because flowers like, oh, you just went and got, like, flowers just seems like too... Yeah. Stuffed animals like, can last for a long time like, and, oh. yeah. No, <clears throat> no. Well, Fellblade, of course, it, for us, yes. But for him, he's also in eighth grade. <laughs> like, the Chip, do not, he can't, he's in eighth grade, Chip. Dude, that comes back to the community <laughs> line, dude. <laughs> What that Parker? Oh, Parker, get Parker, out of here. You have town. no idea what you're talking about. There's yeah, girls out in some college. Like, there's a lot of girls still in college with stuffed animals. You know, you know what a squishmallow is? Come yeah, on. I was, I was <laughs> just yeah. about to say that. Get her a squishmallow. Get her a squishmallow. <laughs> or yeah. get her like Heck one of yeah, those. Simon, I dig that, dude. I know a lot of girls that like those like octopuses that are like the stuffed animals that you can turn oh, inside out. Yeah, and, like yeah. one of them has like the frowny face and one of them has like the happy face. Yeah. 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 20 bucks isn't, oh, I guess in eighth grade, $20. For yeah, DLR. that's like two or three weeks of chores, dude. <laughs> dude, $20 now, well actually $20 is still $20, but. <laughs> oh. Fire an electric car. 
Hey, that might work. That might Fire work. Fire car. <laughs> you get 20 for mowing, Conley? I mean, I never got paid for chores, but I had friends that did. A big old salmon right there. What, squishmallows? What did your what did your nine year old like? Squishmallows? Dude, I'm telling you. Kids these days, they like the squishmallows. We could ask the nine year old what their diet <laughs> No, you okay, Simon, I think you misunderstood. For the foreseeable future, just be her brother's friend. Don't even like try to date her, okay? Just be nice to her. Be her be her regular friend. Okay? Be her regular friend for a while. Normal friend, nothing romantic, okay? Get to know her. Just talk with her. Yeah. Just just talk to her. Be like, man, that sermon was fire today, wasn't it? Yeah, look, your dad was bringing like some, some <laughs> real bangers. Bars. Yeah, he was <laughs> dropping bars. Um... <laughs> Just be chill. Oh, this Just is be... why I'm single. <laughs> Your dad was dropping <laughs> bars at, at service yesterday. Anyway, you want to get ice cream? <laughs> Dude, that um, comedian wine was so fire. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling a certain type of way. Yeah, when when he referenced John three sixteen, I was like, oh. I, he, went, he went full 10 people. Oh no, Nightbot got you, Simon. See, Will still got that same teddy bear. Um, I don't think I have the same. I don't think I have any stuffed animals anymore. I think they're like, I definitely do, but they're like packed in a box and they're like on like. Oh, I got beanie were, babies. Like, special. I got beanie babies. Those are like collectible <laughs> now, though. Right? Yeah, yeah some of those are worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I got a Princess Diana Beanie Baby worth like three, four thousand. It's not the first first edition, which is like an insane amount, but I got a I got a really nice Princess Die. Feel like you could always have like the pickup line, like yeah, these church pews are are kind of uncomfortable. You know what's not? My lap. Nope, nope, that's not it. That ain't it. That ain't it. So I'm not listening to him. So. Just be, just be nice, be a friend, but be there and hang out with the brothers. And then over time, Simon, as long as you're like a good person and you're nice, um, and, um, you show and like you're there, it'll happen for you, brother. It'll happen for you. Just say, so yeah, like what Caitlin said, treat her like a human being, right? Cause she is one. Yeah, Simon, we're, we're, let's, no, no, you gotta don't do that. Yeah, Simon, yeah, you, please uh, avoid that one at all costs. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much said that, Caitlin. I, I saw, you said something about being human, and I just put two and two together. I assume that's what. I'll put, um, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I, lo hey, I love, I love, I thought mine was clever, all right? Like, <laughs> I mean, well, what if the church pews are cushioned, though? It really wouldn't work. <clears throat> I have never met a church. I have <laughs> never, met. never met a church pew. <laughs> I have never met a church pew in my life. Dude, has been good. Every man. church pew I've sat on has been so uncomfortable. Hey, Will says it would, all this stuff would work on his sister. What is he going after? His, what, wait, what? No, just you don't have to dissect that. Lizard but person. well, had your sister heard all of this and was like, "Yeah, yeah, that would work." No, no. You know what? No. Better yet, Simon, say, "Dude, there's this YouTube streamer I watch all the time. You should really watch this episode." Oh yeah! No 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 no, 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 no! I'm the last person you want to tell her about. I need to be I'm the last person you want to tell her about, Simon. Guaranteed. <laughs> Next thing you know, I don't know what song that is, brother. Uh, but it sounds like a good one. 
It's like a cameo thing where we're like, all right, my boy Simon here wants to date you, and then he like gives her the timestamp. Oh, oh yeah, listen now. Like, like, you're you're saying stuff that's gonna make women our age. That like that's what you tell a woman our age. I can cook. What do you, what do you say? I I take out the trash. I can mow the yard. I got New Balances with with so many grass stains that I got a good <laughs> grass stains, job. it can be camo. I got, my my New Balances are so stained with fresh grass cut grass stains that real camo is trying to buy, buy the pattern. Like <laughs> that's that's the stuff you tell women our age, Fellblade. Like like get you what I did. You're not in. <laughs> I just I can't. I just uh, I lost it. I think I think I lost it about 45 minutes ago. Simon, do you at least like, <laughs> have her number or like Snapchat or something, or are you not okay. even there yet? I guess that's the real question. Hey, it's going good, buddy. It's going good. We're we're trying to give dating advice to Simon. I think about 15 to 20 percent of it is good. The other, eight, <laughs> the other 80 percent is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a landmine. <laughs> I feel like some of the other stuff is like it, it's like go for broke. It either like it's either gonna work or it's, not. it's gonna get you kicked out of out of the church. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotcha, Simon. Okay, so Simon, listen, listen, brother. All right, here's, I guess we have to know how much, like, like we have to figure out if she's actually like super into you or just like a nice person being nice to you because that's, that's a hard thing to tell in eighth grade. Um, what are the, so she watched, so what else does she do? What other signs does she give you that you think she's got a crush on you? Like. You gotta you, like. I know she like. She goes out of her way. She goes out of her way to shake your hand at church, which could be good. That could be a sign. It could also be that she's a really nice person. Five times per song. Are that you looking at you her enough to count? Her. Yeah. Wait, are you looking at her enough to count? Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean you've been you stare her down the whole time? So she's just looking brother, at her like, why does she stare at me? Yeah, brother. Because if you're if you're looking at her enough to know that she's looking at you five times per song. That means you're looking at least six times, right? Ops, that uh, that might not be bad. I, I don't know what this chick's into, but that could actually be a good play. Actually, that's a good little sign. That's good. That's a good point, Fellblade. Does she like do one of these numbers? Like play like with her hair when she's talking to you? Does she touch your arm when she's talking to you? That's a good sign too. Like, does she laugh at, like, jokes? Like, can you, like, if... Okay, Simon, listen. Listen. Listen, Simon. I need you to go back to last night's stream. I need to write down about... About 10 to 15 of Scott's jokes. Then... That are appropriate. And then I need to... I need you to tell this chick... Scott's jokes from last night. If she laughs... At more than more than half of those jokes, then she definitely likes you because that, that, Scott's jokes last <laughs> night. Right, you have good jokes. Scott was putting out, but Scott was throwing a wide net last night. Some of them were good, some of them were not. And we love Scott, and Scott's a national treasure. But go get about ten of those. If she laughs five, then she's faking it, and she's just laughing because she likes you. That's another sign. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna throw a spinner. See if I can get some trout. Felipe <laughs> Felipe Okay, Simon, listen. That one's pretty good. That one you can't you can't use. I mean, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, Simon. But listen, we're not, we, I don't want you, I don't want you to use jokes that are good. I need you to use jokes that are bad. Because if she's laughing at the bad ones, that means she, that's a sign that she's into you. 
or again just a really nice person and feels bad for you it's really hard to tell very hard to tell um wow what a rabbit hole <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's much easier when you're married you know how to flirt with your wife no when God. you're married <laughs> let me tell you how to flirt with your wife when you're married you say i'll take oh, out the trash <laughs> like uh, yeah like like oh when she says take the trash you, your answer is i've already taken the trash out when she says hey can you fix the garage door it's making a weird noise oh yeah i've already done that no that's how uh, you get laid <laughs> that's not how you well, no that's how you flirt trust me I mean, that's a whole Nate. Trust me, that's a whole different ball game. That's a that's a that's a chunky brown trout. That ain't bad. That, that's a whole different thing. You say like um, like she says, oh, the dog smells good. You say, yeah, I gave him a bath today, and I trimmed his nails. That's that's how you flirt. Oh no, she's watching. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. No. I'm in so I'm in no. trouble. She's no. watching. Dang it! Everybody, abandon ship! Abandon ship! Never hear, guys. <laughs> I assume she was. I thought she was eating dinner still. I don't know. <laughs> How long have you been here, Sarah? <laughs> How much did you hear? <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, I didn't give Blue a bath. But, but if I wanted to flirt, but listen, listen, if I wanted to flirt with you, babe, I would have given Blue a bath already when I trimmed his nails earlier today. Right, and then that's I mean like listen when you're I was telling the difference between flirting when you're like in eighth grade Like Simon and flirting when you're married flirting when you're married. I was saying like Um, you know like Giving the dog about without having to be asked taking out the trash without having to be asked, you know being an adult without having to be asked That's how you flirt Oh goodness Long enough, oh, no. Long enough. <laughs> I don't know. Long <laughs> enough was. <laughs> yeah, we Bellblade, been going for a while. <laughs> Bellblade was telling that it was like giving his advice on like how to, he like told he told Simon, um, oh clever Bison, this stream has, uh, is, oh, is going know. off the rails. <laughs> we have been <laughs> off everything. the rails. Exactly, Fellblade. Right, that's how you be an adult. Exactly. Exactly. Being adult is flirting. <laughs> I gotta I gotta try harder. Thanks for thanks for pointing that out, Fellblade. I need to try harder. Oh god. Um It's gone completely off the rails, Clever Bison. Totally off the rails. Um Okay, I got one. I got one fish no 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 yeah. if i have to go out and do some errands and i come back a nice atlantic salmon um i come back with a snack right like a, like a little treat and she says and she's like oh you i like oh i got myself a little treat she's like, oh i got what did you get for yourself oh i got this and she goes and then uh, she goes, oh, great. She's waiting for it. And you let it, you let it hang for a little while. Don't tell her. You also got her some ice cream or her a tree, whatever she likes. That's, that's one good way. That's one good way. <laughs> oh. mm. Listen. Let me give you, for, for all of you... Okay, that uh, that would work for Sarah for sure, Feldman. Uh, Cause she is the better cook of the two. It's 
Simon, brother. Um, I I'm going to give you uh, the actual, actual honest advice. When you're in eighth grade, just be nice. Be a friend first. Focus on being a friend and not a boyfriend. If you focus on being a good friend, okay, not, not an overly attached friend, but just, just a good friend. You'll be fine. That's it. When in doubt to show her the stream. Do not show her the stream. <laughs> um, under no circumstances should you ever show her my stream. Just, just upload it to a USB thumb drive and just say, hey, go watch this in your free time. <laughs> do not. Absolutely do not. Dude, this rod and reel just, just pull in these salmon so fast. Not even fair. Not even fair. Yeah, Clever Bison. Hey, the Hunter's boy, what's up? Yeah, it's coming, dude. This summer, sometime. I'm hoping it's June. Could be July. I'm hoping June or July. Um we'll get uh the console release here and i'm hoping the new fish there's new fish on uh golden ridge reserve um the base map hoping those come in i hope it's crappie i know yeah. we're so close we're so close oh nice dude you've been here for quite the ride clever bison <laughs> simon do not simon i'm glad that your humor your humor is good enough to realize that is absolutely not what you should say. <laughs> yeah, Simon, Simon's OG. Simon, um, he's a Patreon supporter too. I'm hoping Hunter's boy. Silver Salmon. Dude, I did yeah, I hear that. These games are gonna be nutty when everybody's on console and everybody can come and play. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. Nice. You hear that, Kinsko? Chiefs are gonna probably be in Germany this year. Probably. You're gonna get to see Pat, dude, Kinsko. If you if. If the Chiefs come play in Germany and you do not go see Patrick Mahomes, I'm going to be so disappointed in you, Kinsko. I won't blame him. Nate, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put diesel in your bass boat when I come up there. Oh, no. <laughs> nice cold killer. Yeah, fell blade. That's probably pretty good. Oh, no, trust me. 25 pound, that ain't bad. Can't go. I no, that's fine. You don't have to go to a football game yet. But if Patrick Mahomes comes all the way to Germany and you don't go see Patrick Levon Mahomes the second play football, you are missing a once in a lifetime opportunity. That dude is unreal. And if it's against the Bears or the Lions, they're going to actually dominate. Oh, look at Sarah. She's put she put an actual advice from a real human girl. An actual girl giving <laughs> advice. <laughs> hey, Paige, nobody wants to talk to you. Put your wife on. Let's talk to your wife. Crunzaholic is now <laughs> That's Crunzaholic is B Page. Is oh, the other okay. Yeah. He's missed out. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably been lurking. Um, it's probably salmon though. Does salmon eat these tubes? Oh, dude. Me and B. Jones have more than a crush on them. That's my home. Come on. That's my home, brother. You know, Lynn? <laughs> I don't, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. Um. Uh, but for real though, tell your wife that um, Brianna and Sarah both have uh, both said that they want to go fishing with us. Um, 
So, and uh, if B Jones gets a gets a rod, he'll go fishing. So, tell her, me, her, me, your wife, Brianna and Sarah, we'll all go fishing. Um, Sarah and Brianna both think that they'll try to fish and then end up just sun tanning while me and Jesse fish. Um, but either way, it'll still be fun. And then you can do whatever you want because I know you don't. You get bored fishing. Ooh, what's this? Is that a big brown trout? That seems like a big brown trout. I like that clever bison. That, that is a big brown trout. I like that brown trout. You read and fish. Hey, there's, there's Jesse. Oh, you got hit by night bot, Jesse. <laughs> you would get so bored, B Page. You know you would. You can go look for bugs, though. That just means you don't know how to fish if you get bored fishing. Yeah, well, he's he's literally tr trash. <laughs> I'll open up a bush as God intended. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um. Yeah, no. Brianna said that uh, she wants to go fishing. Sarah said she would go and she would fish but her and uh brianna both said they'd probably end up tanning simon we already talked about option two that's a no-go dude you do not okay okay for now that i know there's actual women in this chat for the ladies in this chat is it a better option so simon's homeschool so his, op his options for a girlfriend are a little bit limited right and he's got a crush on this one chick that he's gonna go talk to but if that doesn't work out he's got this backup chick that is his sister's friend i Whoa. feel like that's bad right Look like at simon's newest comment that changes everything my sister knows she's okay is she your younger sister or older sister simon that's gonna be a huge defining factor if she's your older Caitlin, you know <laughs> what I meant. You've been giving advice this whole time, Caitlin. Yeah, Simon. No go, brother. No go. Is she one year younger than you? Like, is she like in seventh grade? Is it, is it, I mean, well, hold on. It's a little bit different, fella, because they're. They know she has a crush on him. Yeah, but so if it's all like middle school, it's a little bit different. Seventh grade, maybe not sixth grade, though. Not sixth grade. As long as they're still in middle school, I feel like it's. Nah, already. Simon. No, nah, you're no. Nah. That's wait, off is the that, table. Wait, is, off that the how, table. is that how young the, the other girl is, too? Yeah. Are they also three years younger? Nah, that's that's option. That's not an option. That is yeah. not an option. Mm -mm. Caitlin's always, it's like Caitlin, Kaylee, Katie, you, and that's pretty much it. The the the, my, the, my gender, uh, the gender uh, population here is very one-sided. <laughs> it is about twelve. I have about twelve percent female viewers, and then the rest is the boys. The boys. My boys. <laughs> 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 yeah 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 Did that's not an option that? it's a little it's a little bit different yeah oh dang it nightbot got you bice not gonna lie um nice this is brown trout yeah that's fine simon that, oh there's there's sarah yeah sarah barrett yeah there's sarah barrett yeah she's in here too um that's fine because number one homeschooled options are already limited number number one number two eighth grade seventh grade uh that's pretty that's fine that happens all the time oh that's uh sarah that's jesse the 
A lot of Lola is Jesse. Oh, my leg itches. Dude, I had to kill a bunch of poison sumac and poison ivy in the yard today. And I know I didn't get it on me. You wear long but I'm like, it's all in my, it? it's in my head. Did you wear long pants? No, I used Roundup. <laughs> That's not, not I mean, like, did you wear long pants? I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to use long pants to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, where you wear long <laughs> pants when you were trying to kill it. No, like, <laughs> I didn't no, need I didn't question. need long pants because I had I had the I bought the one with like the shooter gun, you know, so I could like snipe the poison sumac with the with like the blaster. So I didn't need long pants because I wasn't like getting it on me. It's on oh. the edge of my yard, so like I wasn't worried about that. I'm getting some pretty nice brown trout over here, folks. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Simon, three years three years. In eighth grade, like sixth grade-ish, mm, nah. I I worked with middle schoolers and elementary schoolers. That's a little bit too much. That's a little bit too much. But one year, totally fine. Totally fine. Or what wrong? Listen, if you half listen to any of this stream. You've probably left by now because it has been if out of context, this whole stream is ban is bannable. You're not wrong. <laughs> there is that one the peak where she just clipped that. <laughs> well, cold killers, so there's a lot of difference between um like middle school like a sixth grader and an eighth grader is not not a huge difference but like a sixth grade and third grader is a big difference because the way aging works through you know the human aging cycle yeah ki ki kids kids grow up uh yeah. slower than adults yeah like um uh, b jones will tell you like you know when uh we worked at the day camp so he was the counselor for the six and sevens i was the eight and nines and then there was like the 10 and 11 and 12 and 13s. <laughs> like, it's just the, like the six and sevens and the eight and nines, like totally different world from the 10, from the 10 and uh, 11s. Like even eight and nine year olds, like just the, just the gap between eight and nines and 10 and 11s, massive. B Jones gets used all caps because I modded him. And I don't, I don't trust that you won't abuse that power, B Page. I, I guess I don't necessarily trust that he won't either. But he talks and stream more. He talks and stream more. So when I ask him questions, and so he answers the questions, and then Nightbot smokes him. I'm gonna get this diamond brown trout. That'd be nice. Um, Jesse, if you're still here, when should we go get our fishing licenses? Um, uh, we can go to Walmart or we could go to Bass Pro and get our fishing it. licenses. You should be able to get it online. Almost every state you can do it online. Yeah, but I could also go get a couple of lures while I'm in this, while I'm at Bass Pro. See, that's why I don't do that because then I end up buying a lot. Well, Nate, I don't want good advice. I'm not here for good advice. I don't think anyone's here. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, we're trying, buddy. <laughs> uh, it's 20 pounds of not bad. Carter, you missed. Sounds good, Jesse. Carter, you missed a train wreck. You missed an absolute train wreck. It was a graceful uh, train wreck, right? <laughs> I don't think so. This is like one of those train wrecks that causes like a like a dust cloud, you know what I mean? Like a toxic like dust cloud over like the local town. It's been good, clever. I um 
I uh, got Sarah's flowers watered for her today. We had the uh, uh, Call of the Wild stream with Jaxi where he accidentally mentioned that there's going to be a new great one coming to Call of the Wild. We uh, we found out, we, he confirmed that the new map is not a North America map. So that's good. Um, <laughs> Dylan. Um, so that's good. That was good. Um, I got Sarah's flowers watered before the heat of the day. So her flowers didn't get burnt up to a crisp. Um, what else? I got blues. Uh, I got my dog's, um, nails clipped today a little bit. I still got, I still need your help, honey. Uh, getting some of the, the longer ones clipped. Um, bum, bum, bum. I did other stuff too. Got a lot of dishes done. Oh, this is great news. And all of my, uh, my, uh, um, all the wild buddies here will be so proud of me. Caitlin, especially be super proud of me. I edited a short and shot cut and posted it and YouTube recognized it as a short and put it in my shorts. So they put it in your shorts. Yep. But it, it... <laughs> classified the video as a short and put it listed it under the shorts page on my YouTube page. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been struggling trying to figure out why YouTube won't recognize when I'm doing shorts, but it finally did it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so does it have like your uh, face cam and everything on it? Yep. Ooh, I, mean, I haven't seen it yet. Wow, dude. You're supposed to watch it within the first two hours. That's the most vital point, Nate. I'm sorry. Tony did. <laughs> I, Tony I've watched been, it. I, I've, been, I've been doing schoolwork all day. <laughs> um, I, though, Kinsko, I do need... Um, I would like a tutorial on how to get how to get my shorts like yours um where i can What's get nice? the face cam independent of the actual like video um I, i'm not at that level i'm not at the kinsco level of shorts making yet but i'd like to be athletic shorts khaki shorts yeah eli was in there eli was in there early sounds good buddy Ooh, European bison. I, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. If listen, we got to, you got to think about the two base maps. <clears throat> you got to think about the, the, the two base maps. What animals on either of the two base maps are on multiple maps and are highly requested for great ones because that's how you know what the next great one's going to be. It's not Euro Bison. Because Euro Bison are... I guess he did, he did not... Euro Bison just aren't very in very many places in in uh, the world. So I, I highly doubt it's going to be Euro Bison. Don't, I, don't, you know I want Canada Goose. You know I want an aggressive Canada Goose more than anything in the world. I think bison's on it though. If the if the new map, if the new map has fallow deer, if the new map has fallow deer, it's gonna be fallow deer. I don't think it's gonna be row because a lot of people want a fallow deer great one. It's on a base map and it's on several different maps. If but if the new map doesn't have fallow deer. I don't know if it's going to be fallow. It all depends if the new map has fallow deer or not. Yeah, Nightbot got you, Simon. I'm, I'm fairly certain. If the new map has fallow, if the new map does not have fallow, I don't know. I'm never getting you a driveway just because you asked, B-Page. 
I will. I'll get Jesse a brand new gaming PC before I get you a driveway. How about that? Uh, uh, mostly just because you flooded my Twitter timeline asking random celebrities to buy you a new house or pay like for your down payment on your house. And that's all I saw was you trolling random like celebrities. Can I have $5,000 for down payment on my house? Can I have $5,000 for this for like three years? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, it was going to work one of these times. Did it though? Nope, never did. He never got it. Had to pay for it himself. Like a ding dong. <laughs> yeah, Eli, for sure. That's what I think. Like if if the new map has fallow on it, it's gonna be fallow. But although somebody the person who ever said whoever said boar, that actually perked my interest. Not because I'd rather have a boar than a fallow great one, even though I would. Um, oh ooh, that's a big fish. Um, there are boar on a lot of maps and that would make sense. Great one, peckery. Peckery. <laughs> it would make sense for a, a great one boar. They are on quite a few maps. They're on a base map, but I think fallow is more requested. So I think they would do fallow before boar. Watch it be a great one duck. Great. Like, oh, I would love that. Yeah, I know, but it'd be like just close enough to a goose to make you mad that they didn't get to a goose. <laughs> that, yeah, especially if it went aggressive. Oh, I'm furious. 95. I'd be furious. Yeah, that is too much to ask for a B page. You don't know these people. Quit asking for five thousand dollars. You don't know them. Oh, great one, Fez. It'd be dope. And did you ever ask Mr. Beast? Like, I feel like you're asking the wrong people. Like, if you're going to be asking for random handouts, you should have been asking Mr. Beast. He probably would have made you, like, eat, like, uh, I don't know, eat something weird or, like, make you do something like uh, live in a carcass for 24 hours. <laughs> Great one, Caper would be dope. I'd love that. He's asking random NFL people. Of course, you have asked Mr. Beast. <laughs> I've received no He has inquired. <laughs> I've petitioned the man. <laughs> I just noticed one of the names in our lobby. I've ignored it. <laughs> I just now saw it. <laughs> uh, we've had we've had enough depravity. <laughs> have we? We have. <laughs> yes, we have. Where, where, when did we? When do we cross the line? Is the real question. I I I think it was when I had to I had to move the boom arm and move the mic back, take the glasses yes, off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to wait till seventeen, Simon. Wait like a couple. Wait like a while. Like you'll know the right time. If you don't know when the right time is, it's not the right time, Simon. Not the right time. Just be like friends with her brother and then just casually become her friend. And then she will see your worth as a human and as a friend, and then she'll get a crush on you. That's how it works. If she's anything like my wife, you can text her puns every morning for like two months. And then uh, she'll like that. And then uh, you can make little flower planters in your mom's basement out of cement. She'll like that if she's like my wife. My wife. My wife. What else did I do? Sarah, if you're still in here, what else? What else did I do right when we were dating? I feel like the only answer she's gonna give you is what she did wrong. Yeah, don't tell me what I did wrong. I, I could probably put two and two together on that. Uh, what did I do right? That's what I want to know. Um, I was friends with her sister. I did that right. Level 147. Owen, <laughs> you have a problem. Owen. 
I'm 122 doing. I'm gonna catch up eventually. Oh, you better keep on going. These people. I'm like 76. <laughs> yeah, you know, Lane. going. You know. Later, clever boys. I'm going, man. Oh, oh, ooh! Watch out! Watch out! Whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie doodles. Now, Dolan's problem is he's too good at the game. All right, are we lost? No, we're we're right on we're right on track. No, oh, we're right. You're gonna right. Yeah, I might. I'm going to Caitlin's Pop Tart Lake. <laughs> Pop, the Pop Tart puddle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give it to me, Dylan. I'm looking for big asp up here. I'm kind and funny. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Just kidding, honey. <laughs> there you go, Simon. Be kind and funny. I guess that I guess girls like that sometimes. Handsome money. I don't know. What are you talking about? Did I miss something? Oh, what should I, I put? Oh, I got Venmo. Gotcha. <laughs> Can I get five k? You have to get fishmo. <laughs> uh, you liked all my friends. You're just saying that because they're in the chat right now. <laughs> nah. Bro, bro was the last resort. He was the second option. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was option two. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Oh, how the turntables. Um. Do not do the guess what chicken butt joke. <laughs> do it. Do not do the guess what chicken butt. No, that is not what you did. P page. That is the opposite of what you did. Your wife is clearly the one in charge, and it is very plain to see. You pretend, you pretend, and she thinks it's cute, but you pretend to be in charge sometimes. But we all know that's not the case. Uh, oh, B Page, when are you running another D&D campaign for me? Been a while. I promise I won't argue about the rules with you as much. I know you get some creative juices in there, buddy. Fire it up. Oh, yeah. You know how I know you were, you know, when I knew you were never going to be in the driver's seat in this relationship, B Page. When you told me that you had a super big crush on this on this chick that held your hair while you were puking in her toilet. That's how I knew. That's how I knew she chose you. You didn't choose her. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Is that the diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, B page oh always says put him to bed with a bucket. Exactly. That's a good <laughs> that's a that's a good wife though right there. <laughs> right. They they weren't even in a relationship at this point. Oh. Game recognizes game. She recognized that you needed help and she's very nurturing. Besides <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hurt himself. That is not, that is the opposite of game. Oh, Mentalis, no, nah. We're getting too nah. deep here. <laughs> nah, like especially like Jesse, like Crohn's and Alona there. 
It's more like Jesse's the head, the neck, the arms, the legs, the torso. But B Page is like the skeletal system. He's like the skeletal system. You know, none of that's going to work if he wasn't there with his unwavering support. How about that? I feel like that's pretty fair, right, Jesse? You're like all the important stuff, but if he wasn't there with his, with yeah, exactly, he wasn't there with like the support, it all fall apart. Hey, that's not your dad sounds awesome, Simon. Nate, don't you want to be that guy? Be who? Sil read what Simon just said. That's that's what I want to be. I wish I was better, but my wife's better at fixing stuff than I am. That, that you know if i could find a woman like that <laughs> that would be a dream because <laughs> i have expensive hobbies <laughs> <laughs> or a expensive hobby really yeah yeah expensive hobbies what's your second hobby fishing and aiming, aiming? i guess it's like an upfront cost so not really yeah yeah i i think yeah, and pretty much just fishing Ooh, nice, Jesse. Let me guess, B Page got the Wi Fi going? Yeah, he, huh? I, I'm really good at fixing stuff. I just called the number that says the call when this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely mentality. You gotta, if we're talking about in real, like real life advice. Yeah, you're a team. You got to make it work. You got to play to each other's strengths. That's for sure. And then. Like I do all the socializing, all the interacting socially. That's me. I'm the front man. Do not look up pickup lines, Simon. They do not work. <laughs> Is he boiling water to take his baths? Oh yeah, Crohn's Hog is a bath guy, everybody. He's a big Bad bath guy. Man card revoked. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't want he doesn't even want it. <laughs> he, I can tell you, I if somebody said, Oh, your man card's revoked, be Crohn's a hog, he'd say, you know what he'd say? Eh, I moved on. That's exactly what he would say. <laughs> um yeah no simon do not use that he was boiling water to take baths how many times did he have to like <laughs> like boiling water isn't necessarily instant so by the time you boil the second pot of water <laughs> <it'd be cold. laughs> the first pot's already cold <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going through so much effort to, to take a bath? Take a shower. Did he have the whole stove top? <laughs> Just go in for his bath. Oh Come my. home from work. Oh, are you making me? Are you making me dinner? It's like no, I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Did you salt the water too? <laughs> he could be a little macaroni noodle in that bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so tony how's it going <laughs> oh you know just oh, chilling okay. <laughs> oh we lost well, it <laughs> that is the most b page thing i've ever seen oh no jebba it it it, it was obviously clearly working. He just had to re—he just had to reinstall the faucet, and you know what he did instead? He boiled four pots of water at the same time. Just take a bath. <laughs> and he just did it over and over and over until his wife fixed the faucet. <laughs> that is the most B-page thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, it's too funny. I mean, listen, I I laugh, but I don't. I really don't know what I would have done differently, except for I wouldn't have been taking baths. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, that's too funny. No, Simon. None of those. None of those. I'm going to Doan Island to see what I can get over there. Tony, you pit you uh, perch fishing over here? I moved over to the waterfall to chub fish. Mm. Yeah, treat me like a pirate and give me the booty. Nope. <laughs> None of these pickup lines. <laughs> it's a bubble back too. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy! <laughs> Were you bullied as a child? <laughs> yeah, he was by me. <laughs> I was the one bull. I bullied him in Cub Scouts. <laughs> and night, night, Death Reaper. Have a good one, buddy. Oh Lord. This is a little bit much. Me, so here's the thing. As much as PPH gets bullied, he and I became best friends because we mutually bullied our other mutual best friend. And we were so good at it that we just bonded over it. Page. Not helping himself there. <laughs> no, these these bubble baths. <laughs> bubble boy. <laughs> you, you and your baths. Did you not when we when we lived together for all those years, B Page, I don't remember you taking baths. Was that because we had black mold in the tub and you didn't want to touch it? Also, I wish we would have known that was black mold before. Oh, got something. What is this? I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we didn't know that was black mold. We just thought it was, uh, black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know what it was. It just thought it was black stuff. <laughs> like, we didn't even think it was something, like, logical. It, we just, <laughs> it was just something black. <laughs> Jesse, why didn't you tell us that was black mold earlier? You, you lived there with us for a little, like, you didn't live there, but, like, you were there with us for a bit. You don't have standards, B-Page. Our, the front of our, like, our, like, silverware drawer fell off, and instead of gluing it back on, we decided to use it as a cutting board in an apartment that had cockroaches, and we knew it had cockroaches. You do not have standards. <laughs> like, legitimately, our, like, the drawer to our silverware... This is in college, by the way. We had to, we had to like get this place bug bomb like twice because of all the cockroaches. And the literal, the front of the drawer came off. Ooh, nice little silver Xander. The front of the drawer came off, and we were like, you know what? We could, we could call the landlord, have her send the handyman out to fix this. Or we get glue it back on us, go buy some wood glue ourselves and fix this. That would, both of those would cost time. Fixing it ourselves would cost time and money. So, you know what we did? We said, you know what? We need a cutting board. And one just fell into our laps. So we used it as a cutting board. You didn't just put it back? No, we didn't have any wood glue. So you decided to use it, instead of putting it like away in case you needed to put it back, you use that as a cutting board? Yeah, and then we and then whenever we were moving out, we put it back. But anyway, two birds with one stone. So your standards argument, Protoholic, out the window. Immediately out the window. Does not exist. There are no standards there. It was a good time though. We had a lot of fun. We had a projector in our uh, our living room, and we had a giant white wall. So we just uh, we watched all of our ex uh, episodes of X Files on the projector. 
We love you too, Sammy. Just don't always listen to us on the dating. It's true. Um, well, that was a good time. We did have bed bugs in that one place that we stayed in. Um, they bombed the place for bed bugs before we moved in, but it didn't kill all the eggs that were in the light sockets. And so the bed bugs, you know, hatched from the eggs and then we got bed bugs again. That's pretty much just downstairs. That's just Brianna and Nathan mostly that got them, I think. I think we had a few of them. Hey, Travis. Um, it's been a train wreck, buddy. It's been a train wreck. That's for sure. Dude, you brought those skate like I don't know how you got scabies from the gym when we went together and I didn't get scabies. Do you know what scabies are, Nate? I think so. The little mites yeah. that bury they under they your, skin. your skin. Yeah. yeah, and they take giant fat dumps in your under your skin and that's what makes you itchy. Ew. Yeah, he literally had mites taking fat dumps under his skin sounds like a chronzoholic thing is that why it takes bubble baths <laughs> <laughs> i don't no that's just that's just him that's just i him. might potentially have a diamond chub swimming up it looks no, really good wait. we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't know size is weird in this game but it looks really big hey that's in real life too brother <laughs> hey, you can ask Sarah about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bath or come? Mm. Oh! Let's go, baby. Tony won. Tony won the first hey, diamond go. challenge. Way to go, Tony. Tony, that's it. Tony wins with the first two diamond. You got a diamond chub. Hey, oh, Johnny. gonna be the perch. But yep, we got that Nate, diamond chub. Diamond's a diamond, though. <laughs> Tony has dethroned Nate as uh, this week's winner of the first of the diamond challenge. Let's go, baby. You can now have the honors of posting in the first to a diamond challenge <laughs> on the Discord. Let's go. Nice, Tony. Nice, 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 nice. Somebody get some ass over is that, here. Is that your first, first diamond, uh, chub? Uh, second. Nice, double chubbed up. Nice, dude. Johnny, how's it going? What are you, what have you been up to today, Johnny? You get your chores done already? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Later, Doan. Have a good one, buddy. See you, Doan. Cleaning and duck poop. Yeah. Do you guys just do like duck eggs, or do you guys like end up like eating those ducks? I want to know. There's nothing over here at Doan Island right now. Duck and chicken eggs, nice. Sarah was talking about, dude, I can't remember what she was talking about. Bringing something, bringing something to the house. I don't remember what it was. Scabies? Eh, what wasn't scabies. She's she's too high class for that. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I was I suggested maybe getting some quail. We have quail eggs. I heard they're pretty easy to take care of. They don't they're not very loud. They're very loud. They don't stop chirping, dude. I heard they weren't as loud as chickens. Oh, well, that might be true. And I feel like, and apparently quail, like their eggs are like a superfood or something. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind, I would mind quail eggs for breakfast. It's a chicken. Ooh, you got a Xander. Gotten, I went back to that shoreline where we started. Mm, 
trying to go for some ass, but I don't fight none. Grub. Normally they're hitting pretty good on this. Welcome back, Mass. What do you think, Nate? 30 more minutes? We'll that see. works for me. We'll see if we can get a diamond in the next 30 minutes so you get second place. I I do not, I don't need to I I don't care. <laughs> I'm just trying to go gotcha, after Andrew. Yeah, I might go back to that place. Welcome back, pops. We're done with the dating relationship advice for now. Who knows if we'll need to bring him back up? Nate and I are experts, mostly me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good, buddy. Dude, I, I, I would just, I wonder how, just how many more people we're going to see in these multiplayer sessions. Once it's going to be they, a lot. Ooh, nice. Nice. That's Gold, a big Xander. 15.2. I wonder how much harder it's going to be to get into, uh, sessions, multiplayer sessions with each other. After, um, uh, I can't imagine it being too much harder. They're going to have to open up more multiplayer servers. That's for sure. I feel like they'll have to. There might be a, there might be a, like, a, a short time where we have to, uh, kind of deal with not being able to get into multiplayer sessions together while they figure out how many they're going to need. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that all works. Oh, Chronosaholic and Alana are going to bed together at the same time. Mm, sexy time. <laughs> like you guys are married or something. I actually, I'm not even lying to you guys. I legitimately married them. I am. I was legitimately their legal officiant. I got ordained. <laughs> I so you're to blame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's my fault. <laughs> Um. All right, later, Kinsko. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. See you, Kinsko. See you, Kinsko. It's all good. They are married, folks. We are good there. <laughs> and say no. that for a fact. I, I uh, not only did I marry them, but I also sent their paperwork in. Did I give you guys your marriage certificate? Uh, do I still have that? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine you just now come to that realization on a tackle Tuesday stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a copy. It's like a, it's a, like a decorative copy. Their official paperwork I already I already dropped off. No, but they are married, Johnny. I dropped their official paperwork off myself. You forgot to I'm, send in the paperwork. <laughs> but I'm no, I, that paperwork is in. The legal paperwork is in. It's the decorative, like fancy one that we get from the state. That may still be in my possession. <laughs> He's got a Maybe. shrine in his closet. <laughs> my first wedding. It wasn't. It was my first, but it was not my last. I was actually. I've done two now, and I got asked to do a third. So. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, a little bit of a preacher man, some might say. Many are saying. Are you a pastor though? <laughs> uh, no, minister. Ordained minister. I wanted to do uh, like pas safarian kind of stuff, you know, like do that. But um, decided to Wait, go the with like, that a, where, like the colanders on their heads. Or yeah, dude. Oh, no. I wanted to do that one, but I went with the more traditional route. I don't blame you with that. <laughs> yeah. Gronesaholic thought it was hilarious, but we, we we didn't even ask Alana if she what she thought about that. We just kind of assumed the answer on that and that answer was going to be no. All right, I'm fishing my I'm fishing my Xander hotspot. Here. That's what I'm doing. See what we can get. Dude, I wonder 
Do you know how many people would be furious if Japan was the next Call of the Wild map? Why? Just because everybody wants Africa 2.0 or Australia so bad. But I think Japan would be dope. I mean, there's a lot of the same species we already have in it, but they've got green pheasants. They have what? They have green pheasants in Japan. Is that from like Hiroshima or like from the radiation? I don't think so. No, I think that's oh, gotcha. it's just a subspecies. <laughs> that would be sweet. They've got boar. I think they have seek a deer. They've got other kinds of deer. Um, I think they have fallow deer, maybe. Uh, pheasants and some other stuff. What the heck was that? What? Did you all just see that on stream? Was it the water? Yeah, no, like 40 fish just surfaced at once. Is that what that is? Because I thought that's like, no, like dude. a glitch in the water. No, dude, because I because there was two of them that were close to me. Huh. Yeah, it's true, Johnny. Okay. That super weird. That was really weird. There's a bunch of salmon all serviced at once. I wonder if this is a salmon spawner over here. Like they all just came into the map. Away. Line snap. No. Yeah, pops. I did. Yeah, I did hear that. Not anywhere in North America, which I mean, that kind of makes sense, you know, uh, if they did another North American map, I think a lot of people would be pretty upset about that. Be a lot of North American maps. That's horrible. I wouldn't mind any Asia map would be fine with me. Any Asia map would be fine. I don't know unless it's like an Amazon. I don't think there's any South American map I can think of because we already have like the one other than like an Amazon rainforest, like a Patagonia map, which we already have in. Um, <laughs> We're getting close to that diamond. What's it called? Uh, Parque. There's no like otherwise like hunting in South America. Like, I don't know what else they could do in South America. Monkey. Yeah, that'd be cool, Johnny. Arctic Canada would be sweet. I think they have red deer in South America. Oh, wait, but they already have that. Parquet. Yeah. Yeah. Because pretty much all this, like, the main, like, species in Parquet are all imported. They're all invasive species that were brought over for hunting. It's like New Zealand. Yeah. Because apparently so, New Zealand, like, none of the animals in New Zealand are, are native. Yeah. The uh, feral goats are so invasive in New Zealand that um, they actually, I kid you not, I kid you not, um, in New Zealand, to cull the, the feral goat population, they actually, um, they actually get on a helicopter and use a machine gun out of the window of a helicopter. To shoot the goats, or maybe that's on a that's a Galapagos Island thing. Never mind, that's like a lot. It's like like on the Galapagos Islands. They no, but New Zealand, I know since all their species are like non-native and there's so much. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they don't have like an actual like hunting season or hunting tags. You could literally just go out and if you see a wild animal, go sh like harvest it. Uh, I have no clue, honestly. I know the goats. I know the goats and the pigs super invasive and they're damaging. I don't know if the red deer. I don't know if they're as bad. I'm not sure. Yeah, pops. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I don't know if it's Australia. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Just because Jack said it's nothing like we have before. Does that include the hunter classic? Because there's Australia and the hunter classic. Um. And so I don't know, um, but what I was saying earlier is in line with that too. If 
there's fallow deer on the new map because you can get i think there's fallow deer in a couple different places in asia that they could do maps too if there's fallow deer on the new map then i think the next great one will be a fallow for sure because fallow is a highly requested one it's on the base game not on the base map i definitely think the next great one will be a fallow if it's on the new map but somebody jaxie perked up quite a bit when somebody brought up the wild boar great one he perked up quite a bit when they said that so maybe maybe if the new map has boar maybe it's a boar maybe they're throwing us through a loop here Hogzilla would be sweet and if it went aggressive I want everything to go aggressive in this game. Right. So. I don't know. I don't know. He perked up quite a bit when somebody mentioned the feral hog great one. And he's dropped the Japan thing quite a bit and they've got a hog problem there. Saying. Just saying. Yeah, like they could definitely do that if they, if they decide to do a Texas game range too, because hogs are like oh, yeah. a big problem in Texas too. And that would fit really well with the AR weapon, the assault rifle pack, you know? Right. That would fit super well with that. <laughs> Introduce helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brr, brr, like, <laughs> it's that nice burr. Brr. Oh, that'd be incredible. It's and there's eight, eight, eight ten warthogs. Though. Man. <laughs> I think we're playing a different game at this point. Claim wars. <laughs> Just like <laughs> a trap. <laughs> Airstrike coming in. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call them the A10 Warthogs. Are you are you thinking maybe it's a, a hog now pops? I, I do think with how much fan service they do. I think it could be I think I think fallow is probably the number one if the new map has fallow but the way he parked up the way he perked up about the feral hog I don't know I don't know it literally could be anything that's yeah. the bad thing like <laughs> we could guess all day it's like yeah. eh, it could <laughs> watch it be the bison watch it be if it's a Euro Bison, if it's a Euro Bison, I kind of feel like they're due for like a predator. As much as I hate it, mm, I don't know. The bears didn't go over as well as as the uh, red deer and the moose did, though. No yeah, but, but now you have so many antlers, and you only have one predator. It's kind of like you need to balance it because because the predators are like. Eh. Like, or maybe they need a small game, a small game, great one. Since hey, they don't listen, have one yet. I think I might be one of like the 35 people in the world that want a small game, great one. I would have the You're preaching to the choir over here, buddy. I would not mind it. I think that would be sweet. Like a, like a big old chonky rabbit, you know? Just like a huge rabbit like you think like you see the rabbit on the map and you think it's like like you think it's a uh, white tail <laughs> yeah no you see i was gonna say like a burrow like you think it's the whole burrow but it's just the one great one rabbit what if they make the great one like a jackalope oh, man, the antlers? done yeah, i'm in i'm that in yeah kind of sick i'm in yeah if it's a euro bison eh. Dude, it would have to be absolutely massive for it to be like yeah it has like, to like look bigger than any other bison like yeah, could you imagine yeah. having it? it could be cool because it could have like really huge horns or like yeah double, like, trip, like like a cluster horn i don't know it could be kind of yeah. cool maybe if its eyes were red i'm colorblind so i wouldn't be able to <laughs> 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 um yeah Johnny, your brother is one of those. 
That's your I own mean, flesh and blood, Johnny, that you want. You wish that upon him? Yeah, I can see that. I, I kind of want it too. You're right. If we thought Crow... feel forced to grind it too. <laughs> yeah. If we, if we think Crow has lost his mind grinding these bears, then imagine him trying to grind for a great one red fox. Woo! Something without a drink zone. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. That's kind of, yeah. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that would be so funny. I I think that was hilarious. Uh, yeah, Simon. Uh, I'll be sure me tomorrow. Um, it'll be Call of the Wild. We might do a half and half. Might just do Call of the Wild. I don't know yet. That's a Xander over here. Yeah. Biggest one I've got. Sounds good, today. Simon. I guess seven, 17 pound not too long ago. They're, they hit on these grubs all day. Yeah. Like, I know they're more active at night, but I feel like I'm, I always get hits on the, on the grub. The no grub matter what. As long as I let it go all the way to the bottom. I don't know. I think, um, I think Fallow's still probably the thing I think it would be the most just because it's an antlered deer species. Those play really well of this piece. Okay. Well, I guess we got to think about what's left on the base maps. Elk. But it's just Roosevelt and that's just on one map. Do you know? I mean, it's got to be another Hershey animal. There's like, I mean, what else is on? What's on Layton? What else? Well, I mean, Layton has black, black bear. Yeah, there's Blacktail, but Layton has uh, Moose, Black Bear, and Whitetail, and Hirsch only yeah. has Red Deer. Maybe, Hirsch. maybe the next one will just be a Red Deer rework, which kind of, kind of is needed. That's why I think it's like the Euro Bison or the Fallow. It's got to be one of those. Of the two, or but what about Boar though? The boar would be super cool. I would love to see it like twice the size with some battle wounds and maybe like yeah. an eye missing or something, you know, just like really like unique, I guess. I don't know. Is the boar on multiple maps, but between the Euro Bison and the Fallow. Yeah, because there's really nothing. I mean, they did just put they did just put pheasants. No, they put turkeys on late. They didn't put pheasants on late, did they? Uh, yeah, it's turkeys. Yeah, it's turkeys, turkeys. not pheasants. Dude. Pheasants on Hirsch. There's turkeys on a lot of maps, boys. Great one, turkey. Great one, turkey. Uh, what would that even look like? Cause like they have a little pilgrim hat on it. <laughs> well, I mean that they would have to re like they would have to add it for the Eastern Miriam and or like all three of them or whatever. Like the yeah. But they, I mean, there would be like three great ones at once. Yeah, but I mean, they, I mean, the looks of those are turkeys are so minimal that I think True. it wouldn't be too bad. A turkey great one would be incredible. I'd love it. Um, <clears throat> they have a pheasants on a lot of maps now. Maybe pheasants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, I mean, turkey great one. But yeah, I think of the remaining species, the two most likely, I think the three most likely would be Roosevelt Elk, Fallow, or Wild Boar. Just because, but of those three, I think Roosevelt Elk are the least likely because they're only on one map. I think between Boar and Fallow would be the most likely of the two left. Do you think that they're going to release a great one with the next new map? Maybe I don't know. It was kind of interesting that Jaxie brought up the great one this soon. Yeah, but we also do know that they're always they're like always working on a new great one. So I mean, didn't New didn't New England come out with the moose? Was it? Did New England come out with the moose great one? Didn't it? I thought it did. Yeah, I think it did. Hmm. Yeah, Johnny, Road Deer is also a possibility. I would probably like Road Deer better than Fallow, but 
I don't know. Road deer is not a super popular animal to hunt. I think I would probably like road deer better than boar too. Now I think about it. Think a deer. Yeah, no, I probably like road deer better than boar, but boar are cool too. And just a giant old hog would be sweet. Just a big old hog. Big old hog on him. But, I mean, uh, road deer would be super cool as well. Yeah. Is the I mean, think about how good the piebald road deer look, you know? With the different like fur variations and stuff on the road deer, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Got fish? There's Xander all over this area. It's not. Um, I still think, I don't think they'll do it, but great one Canada goose that goes aggressive. Come on. That's the play. That's the play. I was flying in with the big military old, helmet. <laughs> big old mean gander just swooping down on you. Come on. How is that not? How is that not super fun? And it's totally different than anything we have. You don't have to rework all the geese to make them go aggressive. Just the one. Just the one goose. Can you imagine just like running around and just getting like you actually scare up a flock of geese and there's just this one mean old gander that just starts harassing you and it's a great one right so like it's a great one so you don't want to just blast it with anything so if you don't have like the proper gun on you like you're not gonna get it down you know and <laughs> it's like you <laughs> yeah i mean like think about it it would be like you just like like ah like you have to like run back to an outpost while getting like harassed by a goose, and like it's all meanwhile your health is just ticking down tick 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 tick. Can you imagine getting killed by a great one goose? Be incredible. Yeah, that'd be such great content. That's how that's how you you build a game to last. Built to last. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm feeling so itchy. I I really hope I didn't get some like poison ivy. It's been like in my earlobes, which is weird. A mountain map. Ah, this they do so many mountains though. I don't know. I could see, I could see like um a, like a very generic Asia, Indonesia like um yeah like something that's um i would say like an india map that's not india right so a map that kind of replicates india but is not india but that's kind of what i'm thinking johnny like a like a high like a like a high step kind of thing could be something or a japan map Who is so one of my one of my regulars always talks about um, hunting Komodo dragons on the Komodo Island, dude. That's what I'm saying. If they do like Australia or something, they need like snakes. I even, I brought this up in one of Crow's streams. I was like, they need to have snakes because could you imagine walking up on a bush and a snake pops out? Yeah, big old rock python, right? Or like capybaras or whatever. Ooh, capybara, capybara, capybara. Dude, they're yeah, the world's like... largest rat. Yeah, but they, they look like guinea pigs. It kind of. Capybara, capybara. For a while, Ooh. I was watching uh, Naked and Afraid, and they like killed a couple of those. Yeah. That's what they do, Australia. I don't know how I would feel shooting a kangaroo. Oh, dude, I, I want to go fist a cuffs with a kangaroo, dude. Oh, Straight up. Let me box fight. this, dude. Dude, I'm all in for that, but just bopping it out with the 7 mil. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's Jurassic. Jurassic's the one that keeps bringing up the Komodo dragon. That would be cool. They have monitor lizards in Australia. Yeah. 
small Xander. Look at this Xander right here just teasing me. Would they go up to like level three or? What? What, a Komodo dragon? Yeah. I feel like, nah, I feel like they'd be like small game. Komodo nah. dragons? No way, dude. Komodo dragons no. would go to nine. They're bigger than a fox. I feel like they're, they, they're a predator. They'd, they'd go, go to, to nine. nine, dude. Komodo dragons would go to nine. Five, yeah. sure. There's no way Komodo dragons don't go to nine. A monitor lizard? That's different. Like a Bro. like a like a monitor lizard that's just like a like a generic, like a smaller one. Then yeah. that would probably that might mm, that might be small game. So you tell yeah. me I want to do that thing with a three hundred though. No, it goes no, it goes to level nine. Like oh, the difficulty yeah. goes to nine. Or maybe Difficult. they'll just maybe they'll just mess it up and do something that's totally weird like the white tail where it like was a level three. <laughs> um I mean, yeah, yeah, Johnny, probably class three or four. I would say probably a three that goes to nine, yeah. Yeah, Komodo Dragons, they do go after Water Buffalo. Also, I feel like if okay. If they do an Australia map and they don't do something like related like Crocodile Hunter or Steve Irwin. Oh, they gotta do they, something. Or Crocodile they, because, Dundee. Because didn't they do for uh, like the Layton map? Wasn't there like, what was his name? Um, Timothy Treadwell. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They've done people like that before. Like, you know how sick that would. Okay, dude, that would be sick. That would be cool. Or if they got like a cameo and they got his son. Oh, that would be sick. So Dude, I would cry. I would cry on stream. Uh, I or would, is it gonna I be a crocodile Dundee knife? Mm. Dude, there's. But would the Swedes be able to pull that off? Oh, they're Swedish, the, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think the dev teams from all over. Oh, gotcha. I know. Oh, I know dude. the uh, angler dev teams from all over. That would be so sick. So many Xander. I'm looking at like three Xander right now. Later, Johnny. Hooked up again. Dude, the Xander here that, are. Yeah, there's no diamonds so far. There's he lots of Xander. Size two hook. Yeah, I might need to go down to something a little bit bigger. Which is kind of nuts. This one might be a little bit bigger. Maybe. Yeah, Komodo would be cool. Uh, somebody in the chat say said it was Australia do like a Tasmanian tiger. That'd be kind of cool. Tasmanian I, tiger, or Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian tiger. It'd be like um, it'd be like the, like the mocha moose, like a mission, like the mocha moose or the chunya. Aren't those they endangered? Though? No, they're extinct. Oh, <laughs> that's why that's why I'd be like the mocha moose or like the oh. mission. So extinct animals are fair game. Yeah, because I mean, can't kill them twice. <laughs> what about like badgers? Um, badgers aren't uh, endangered. You can kill those, I think. Well, it's I was very, saying just it's like, a, for, it's a like adding English to thing. the game. It's a very English that's, thing. That's an American thing. you just suggest. Thing. Um... Badgers would be good. Skunks would be good. I like a nice skunk. Can you imagine how good that would look in a trophy lodge? I'm sorry. I don't want to talk until they let us shoot raccoons with a 22. Yeah, that's kind of kind of silly. Tigers. I don't think they'd let us do tigers. Um, they're they're probably going to wait till they know for sure how their audience would react to hunting endangered species. I feel like the whole endangered species thing is maybe also why they're like fighting lightly with uh, Africa 2.0. Because yeah. I feel like Africa 2.0 would possibly like have animals that are kind of trying that line, like elephants, giraffes, yeah. hippos, like yeah. that type of stuff. Yeah. Wolverine would be good. Cleeps are. Wolverine would be good. Um. Wolverine would be good on like an art, like a Canadian Arctic, right? So like musk ox and doll sheep, Wolverine. You get Pine oh. Martin even. You could shoot Pine Martin with a 22. That is kind of a map that they haven't done. 
mm -hmm. kind of with the muskox. So the muskox, so the muskox have been brought up a lot. Um, and I think if I remember, I don't know if it was listening to Crow or if it was Jaxi or TK, maybe even when he was still there. Um, but the fur, the fur on the muskox presented a really big challenge for the team on this, on this engine. So that's why muskox kind of were never in it, but I don't know. They've got some new devs in there and they, they reworked the lion mains pretty well. So that law, it's like the long fur that gives this engine trouble. But they did the, they did pretty good on the lion's mains. Yeah, Medved is close to that. I saw this. Um, I saw this real. I I almost sent this to you last night, Nate. Yeah. Uh, these Russian dudes out in Siberia, they're driving a train and they stopped, and there's like blood everywhere and stuff. They, they like look at the tracks. They accidentally ran over a Siberian tiger. Oh really? Yeah, they actually ran over a white Siberian tiger. Is cut in half by the train. Well, you, you have you seen before where like trains like there'll be like a herd of elk that go over the train tracks and train won't be able to stop and takes out like a whole like half a herd of an elk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that happened actually um while I lived in Colorado. It's may have what I've heard about. Um, when the, when they all get to stampeding, it's scary. Yeah, mass squirrel would be great. Everybody wants squirrels now. And like I said, like we've all said before, we can't really do squirrels. Like they can't just be running around in trees like willy nilly because they're just not the code isn't built for that right now, but they could do squirrels like they do rabbits and have like home trees. So the squirrels will be like on the ground and in like their designated trees. And then whenever you spook them, they all run into the tree and they like disappear into the trunk of the tree. That's one way they could do squirrels, I think. But they're, you know, people might complain about that. Like, why can't you make them be in any tree? Well, because then we have to change every freaking tree in the entire game. The crazy thing about this game, about the hunter is like, they have an endless possibilities, the endless possibility of maps because they could even do like, north american plains where it's just like flat like wheat fields corn fields and there's like because there's usually like mule deer white tail bison yeah. you could do even like the pheasant like just like could you imagine like it's you do pheasant quail everything Shoot, you, could like, do, you could put crows in you can go crow hunting yeah you, know, you put crows in there they haven't done that yet they should do crow i mean if i said if i did a poll right now and said would you crow hunt Everybody in this chat would be a hundred percent. Yes. hundred percent. Yes. Cause they'd all make fun of scarecrow. That might be unique to my chat, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, that'd be fun. Crow be shooting crow. Oh, you know, you know, he would be getting all the rares and diamonds. If there was crows, <laughs> you know, he would go. That would probably be the only small game grind he would ever do. He'd only scare him away. What if what if they programmed it where he physically could not shoot a crow because it would literally just fly away because he keeps scaring him away? <laughs> like they just did it. So like if your name is Scarecrow, <laughs> they, they, they have a higher spook radius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we got to get him to do that. <laughs> like, hey, if, if the game is really having a hard time or whatever, struggling, but the, I, we have the, we have the sauce, the secret sauce. And he'd be like, I think something's wrong with my game because like, oh. I'm looking at all these trophy shots and people are shooting these crows from like, you know, like a like 10 yards, but I can't even get anywhere near the crows before they, <laughs> before they, before oh, they fly off. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he, Dude, he would be so <laughs> livid. <laughs> That would be incredible. Put in doubt, Troll Crow. Get lots of silver Xander over here. I just got a gold. Tony, you got anything good besides the diamond chip? No, I was trying to catch a char, but haven't even had the luck with that. Oof. Oh, man. 
I think I've got maybe five casts left in me, and then I'm gonna, I gotta call it for the night. I was thinking the same. I need to make some food. I'm getting hungry. Later, Pops. Later. Have a good one. I'm me mad. Catch you tomorrow, maybe. Catch um, me outside. How about that? I wonder if uh, Jax is gonna be fishing for Xander tomorrow on the tackle box stream. Ooh, I forgot about that. I don't know if I'll maybe he'll give us a juicy that. spot. Ooh, yeah. All right, sounds good, Pops. We'll catch you later. I appreciate you hanging out and chatting with us. Keeping us company on Tackle Tuesday. Hey, Mac, what's up? Got a little Zandy boy here. Old Char, go baby. Nice that a boy, nice. that a boy. Bubba boy. Bubba boy. <laughs> Bubba boy. <laughs> All right, four more casts. If you just got here, Mac, we're unfortunately winding down for the night. Uh, Tony won the first to a diamond challenge. Dethroned me. Yep. Got the crown for a week. Yeah, boy. One week. He's throwing Nate the King. Oh, this guy's not fighting very hard. Not fighting very hard. Ooh, okay, I take that back. He's been a little bit of a fight. I got ninety. I got ninety pound or ninety percent of drag on too. So. He's fighting with ninety percent drag. That's pretty good. Uh, burger. The what stream in the went world completely. What's happening? Look at um, all these people. Uh, looks like Mac raided us. Um, YouTube wise. Uh, cool. yeah, burger. Um, uh, stream went off the rails for a little while. Um, so yeah. But uh, we're back on. We're back on track. We're back on track. Oh, be commas. I appreciate the subs. I pre appreciate that. Holy, holy cow! Welcome everybody. I didn't know that raids happened on YouTube. This is kind of, that's kind of um, sick. Um, I think it's like um, not like official raids. I don't think. But it's like they just sent. Yeah. I think uh, I think uh, Mac did this for um, Pro once or KC maybe a while ago. Um, I think it was KC stream. Ergo, maybe. Or so <laughs> I, I was modding during it. I think. Um, if I remember right. <laughs> Mac raid. Nine hundred subs, bro. <laughs> But, uh, let's go. Congrats, bro. bro. Thanks. I can't, more. I can't see anything. I don't know if my, my alert box is not kept up, so I can't see any. It must not have you because you went up, I think, 10 oh. and starting. Well, I appreciate that, everybody. Thank you. Remember, I think it had to be at least a year ago when Mac rated KC. And, uh, yeah. Hey, you should tell him about, uh, when Caitlin, you hit 1k. Caitlin, remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so when we hit a uh, 1000 subs, um, if you guys like fishing and hunting games, when we hit a thousand subs, we're going to give away two copies of the angler. Um, one copy courtesy of Jebba. And we're going to, um, that's going to be on PC. So it's just going to be, we're going to have a celebratory stream and then we're going to have a little competition, a little guessing game competition. And, uh, we'll be able to, you'll be able to enter that if you want a copy of the game. So that'll be exciting. And then once uh, it releases on console, we'll have another giveaway for console too. We've got a lot of folks who play on console. 
that uh, are just chomping at the bit to play. Appreciate everybody being here. Appreciate you, Mac. Yeah, I still remember that. I still remember that back room from like a year ago. Uh, I think it was Casey's. Caitlin was, Caitlin and Hollow were modding with me at the time. Remember that? Nice. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side of the boat. This could snap my mind. I gotta angle this thing around the front here. Oh, uh, big fella. <laughs> I'm glad the Mac raid happened now and not the beginning of the stream. <laughs> uh, if you guys ever want to just see an unhinged, just come back every Tuesday. It is uh, it is a absolute blast. <laughs> yeah, tackle Tuesday every Tuesday, everyone. Um, yeah, it gets a little bit unhinged. Um, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit unhinged sometimes. I yeah, appreciate you, Mac. That's awesome, man. Mm, I don't know. This thing's not putting up too much of a fight, Burger. Um, not putting too much of a fight. I caught him pretty far out. Oh, we're trying, Mac. We're trying. We're just a few away from a thousand subs. We're at like, I think we're at like 3.3k watch hours. So we're close to that 4k watch hours. Um, come on, come on, big fella. So that'll be, that'll be sweet. Silver. Nice. Burger. Hey, we're not in Germany. <laughs> Still Tuesday here. <laughs> burger. Uh, burger. Guess what? Chicken butt. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes may be coming to Germany to play a game. You want to see some American football, brother. That's the game to go to. You ever want to go see American football game? If Patrick Mahomes comes to Germany, that's the one to go see. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. That's the one you want. You're not going to find any bet. No, you're never going to see better football played than watching Patrick LeVon Mahomes the second. Guarantee. Um, statement. Nah, nah, I'm confident in that. <laughs> oh, this is big. This thing had me stuck. I'm in Xander. This could be a diamond Xander. Uh, mm, nah, it's a gold. It's a gold. Sounds good, Max. Sounds good. Hope you get, hope you get something good, man. Yeah, I think this is just a gold, Nate. I don't think it's a diamond. Dang. Ah. It'll be nice if it's gold because you haven't caught a gold yet, have you? Uh, no, not today. I caught three last night. Hey, there's a gold. There's our first gold of the night. How about I think that? I've gotten, did I get two or three tonight? I think at least two. Yeah, we're trying to get three. Xander Burger. Not bad, not bad. So, uh, the angler official discord, Xander is the current king of the catch fish. So that's why we're going after Xander. Nice, Mac. Yeah, those uh, great ones are. Um, they're uh, they can be tricky for sure. It seems like all the antlered ones are a little bit easier to get because of the bears. Bears seem uh, like either you get it really soon, like really early on in your grind, or you just grind for months for those things. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of hunting at night either, so 
I will not be grinding bears. There's Finn. There's Finn. What's up, dude? The, the menacing tee <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Absolute menace. Oh, man. 7,500 black bears. That's rough, dude. Sounds like crow right now. Yeah, for sure. The crow is like popping legendaries left and right. Yeah. I'm, um... I'm thinking about since I've seen like, like if you see on like crows, like comments on all those videos, people complain about grinding. Like, no, nah, nobody has time for any of that. Like it's great ones. Like people like, are, don't like great ones because they don't like, I don't have time to grind for a great one. Like you don't have to grind for a great one. It can be pretty random. So I might start like, um, like a casual, like great one grind where I just shoot like the moose on my rev as i see them right yeah you know to shoot them as i see them just so i can show you like you don't have to be a hardcore grinder just shoot things in your map and then if i get one you know of course if i never get one then that's not gonna that's <laughs> not gonna help <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, Mac. Yeah. That's why I kinda like is I'm not a big grinder. Um I like the I like just finding random trophies. You know. Um that's just more of my style. But um I see a lot of people get really discouraged because they see like Crow and the other big streamers, you know, they do all this like hardcore grinding to get their great ones and stuff like that. They think you have to do that to get a great one. But like there's so many like hundreds of thousands of people i don't know hundreds of thousands but thousands of people that you know just casually hunting their maps and they accidentally get a great one to spawn like without even trying you know like it'd be nice to be able to showcase that so people don't feel discouraged or feel like they can't get one. yeah mac i just don't want people to like that's kind of like um how I do my grinds is I like go by what I need in my trophy lodge, right? Like, so if I have a lot of small trophy plaques in my trophy lodge, I, uh, that's what I'm, that's what I focus on. It's just, you know, grinding for trophies that will fit the small trophy plaques. So like, uh, I'm doing a lot of, uh, grinding on Rev and Thule right now for birds, raccoon dogs, rabbits, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I agree, Mess. It's it's more fun to me, but I know like Crow, he genuinely enjoys the grind. Like that is like actually super fun for him. And I know that for a fact because when we play games off stream, just me and him playing games together as buddies, he's grinding. He grinds, grinds, grinds off stream in games that he's in games that he's playing not for as a job, just for fun. He grinds it. So I know for a fact he enjoys it. So some people do like that, but not so much me. I feel like, I feel like call of the wild. I feel like the angler, the whole game is a grind, right? Like it's like, that's the nature of this game is a grind. Um, so like there's the big long drawn out ones and eh, not so much. Ooh. Nice, Finn. I don't even think I've seen a leucistic pronghorn besides like in trophy shots. Yeah, mass the upland birds are fun. Silver Xander. Yeah, mass that would be cool. Diamond of every species is a really cool achievement for sure. Yeah, I'm talking upland birds are my favorite thing to hunt. They're the they're the most entertaining for me. Water wings. Yeah, nice. Nice, Mac. Do other people say water wings or is that just me, Nate? Um I think they've always it's always been said that it sounds like water. Okay. But I think you're like the only one I've heard say like actual like water wings. Like okay. it's so funny because like when you're on stream and you're just walking through the woods, 
water wings. <laughs> and you look around <laughs> and they're like, there it is. Bam. <laughs> nice, Mac. Yeah, I need a look. On my PC save, most of my Call of the Wild hours are on my PlayStation save before I started streaming. Uh, my PC save is all my like trophies that are literally just from like hanging out with like Caitlyn and Hollow and Crow and and KC and like doing stuff with them. Um, I don't have I don't have like the majority of my stuff on my PC save my. PlayStation save. I have. I think I have a botched super rare Mela Mule Deer, if I remember right. I'm not surprised. Because <laughs> I've. I remember right. I was. I was using. It was right around the time I got my two Diamond Rockies, and um, SRP had just come out, and uh, Cronesaholic, who you saw in chat earlier, uh, found a Mela Mule Deer. I'd never seen that before. So it's like, dude, I've never seen like an all black Mule Deer or an all black like anything. Like, what is that? And uh, I shot it with a 300. And I think it's a gold. It was well before I knew how to play the game. <laughs> well before. I actually had to like put into YouTube. What is a diamond? Call the wild. Well, it's crazy because like I remember when I first started playing the game, I had no idea even how big Layton was when I was playing. I would just run around like in a small area thinking, oh, yeah, the water's probably the boundary. This is probably <laughs> the boundary. And then I realized the map and I'm like, oh, my gosh, because I almost think it's because I've been trained like there's no other game like this. Yeah, yeah. I um, when I first started playing, I would just run through the woods. Like there's no tracks anywhere around here. And I would be like, I'd be like running on the side of like the mountain slope, like on the far, like right of like, if you think yep. about Layton on the far yep. right, <laughs> right. I'd be yep. like running along the mountain line on the far right boundary of the map. Like there's no tracks around here at all. I'm like not even close to water. <laughs> like, like there's no the animals. <laughs> yeah. There's like, there's no animals on these maps. Cause I was in the absolute like worst place possible. And then uh, I watched a couple of Scarecrow streams and I learned a few things and got a little bit better. Nice, Mac. Got a little bit better. Learned that I can't just use a 700 on everything. Even though you... A 300, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, you, I mean, to be fair, you use a 7 mil on everything now. <laughs> well, I, I do use a 7 mil on everything, yeah. Switch from the 300 to the 7 mil. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the 7 mil... Yeah, I won't. Okay, look, if it's <laughs> under class four, if it's under class four and it has the potential to make diamond, I'm not going to use it. But if there's no potential to make diamond, that thing's going down to seven. So I'm not running after it. Debatable, but. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I've, I've held off on a couple raccoon dogs. I've 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 started spotting things before I shoot sometimes. I didn't spot that diamond. Wait, diamond. Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely did not spot that one before I shot it. Um But I had bird shot in, I know I had bird shot in, so that's fine. It's fine. Alright, y'all, I think that is it for me. For all the Mac Raiders, I appreciate you all. Mac, thanks for sending everybody over here. We've been going for a few hours now, so we're going to cut it cut it right here. Everybody that's new, thanks for subbing. Thanks for the likes. I appreciate that. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the content. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with another stream. Um, we'll be doing Call the Wild tomorrow. Maybe we'll finish up with some Angler. Not 100% sure yet, but I know we'll be doing called the wild tomorrow for sure so appreciate you all have a good one thanks for hanging out i'll check i'll settle up it, i'm getting getting tired you guys can tell i'll check all those uh trophy shots out mac i appreciate you have a good one you too man appreciate it <laughs>